The year is 1879, but the history is not our own. Presenting Deadlands Reloaded. The guns of the Civil War are silent thanks to a ceasefire between North and South. There was the Great Quake of 68. A superfuel called Ghost Rock is discovered. The United States is divided into six nations. But one thing remains the same. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. We are now recording. You look mild, mm -hmm. So, guys, welcome to the Wild West. Yippee ki yay! Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's your. Comment. All right. So, um, on eighteen sixty. Adam has already found the the uh, mic. Oh yeah. If you click on roll twenty, you will see a saloon. Already there. The six gun saloon. I thought it was a salon. Oh dang it! <laughs> I was also supposed to get my hair done, my mustache wax. All right, so you're in a small town a couple days ride north of Chicago. This is the only saloon in town. There are several rooms from right upstairs next door, and it's the only place in town to get a hot meal. Hence the reason you're all there. Do we all know each other? You have no idea. All right. You have never, Chicago, bang, bang. You have never seen each other before. And you said we were in Chicago. Or no, sorry. you were several days north of Chicago. North of Chicago, okay. Is that a couple days of Canada. Ooh, now it is. We're on horses back. Lake Michigan? Do you remember? <laughs> Hold on a second. I load up my roll 20. All right. So, is the year 1876? Sure. And we took three uh, chips out of a bag. Oh, yeah. We should, recap, we should recap the chips. Sorry, guys. Thank you, Bob. All right. So, everybody, everybody was given three Benny chips. The white chip is a traditional Benny, which you can use to re-roll anything except damage. I think so. Any trait roll. Any trait roll. So it's a regular bend. Yes. A red can be used as a regular bend or roll a d6 and add it to your roll. And that d6 can also ace. Whoa. If you use the red Benny with the d6 benefits, I get another Benny for the, for the villains. Oh, so there's a cost to that red chip. Yes. Yeah. All right. The blue one... Once again, it's the same as a red. It can be a regular Benny, or you can use it to gain an extra D6, which can ace. There's no penalty for using the blue one. Mm -hmm. So the blue is the best by far. Yes. Mike, of course, has two red and a blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> red chips. Joel, what did you get? You're welcome, Mike. I have one red. Thank you, Chris. Nice. Chris, what did you get? Two whites and a red. I got three whites. Two whites and a blue. I got America. <laughs> I do not get the benefit of the chips. They are just white chips for me. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. That's really good to know. Um, what is interesting is there's only a finite amount of chips allowed in my bag. So if I give you a Benny out of the bag, when they're gone, they're gone. That's actually to encourage you to use them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, because they go back and gotcha. Now, one other question. This is really technical. I Say I roll the red or the blue, and I'm rolling my D6 bonus and I get a 1, can I use a Benny to then re-roll that... If you want to burn that up, you might guess. <laughs> okay. I thought Benny was going to re-roll trait rolls. Oh, you're right. I can't... Yeah, good, good point. All right. So... No one's paying attention. If you guys are paying attention when Josh was talking about the chips. 
<laughs> You're welcome. I'm sitting here. Can I get a Benny for that? Oh, <laughs> <Not> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Wait. There's a vow of poverty. <laughs> All right, so, uh, inside the tower, which is now loading up, you should see that. If you click on roll 20, you should see it. Oh, wait, I have to move it to you. I'm still learning how to use roll 20. Oh, look at that. That's like Northern uh, Tours up in Maine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and note up your background. Otherwise, the voice is... It's more meant to just set the screen right now. So, you're uh, in, this, in the uh, saloon. There's a bartender behind the bar wiping a glass clean with a dirty rag. Pair of mildly attractive barmaids are serving them, and they're in there. How it is? An old man plays the piano in the corner. There are several groups scattered throughout the uh, saloon, including, yeah. including each of you individually. Now, um, why don't we spend a minute? You need to go around and describe yourself, what you look like, and what you were doing. Now, uh, we will start with Jeff. Does anybody know who he is? Bahamut. Oh, that's from the Little House on the Bridge? No, that's from um, Briscoe County Jr. What? I don't know the character, but I recognize the ball. <laughs> that's the, uh... What did you say? Is that what you said? Lasted for one season? It was, um... Three um and it was I remember the name. All right, so, awesome. The real Jeff. I know how to read. Is that the young Indy? I'm actually not that good looking. And I look younger than that. You guys are surprised. What is it with you playing a little kid? Oh, hold on, you look eight years old. There's a guy <laughs> so young and so small in the box. Wow. Andy? He's drinking a <laughs> shot. He's got a shot of whiskey in front of him. And he's oogling the girls over. Uh, and they're kind of giving him the, uh, the twinkle, twinkle hands. Oogly goo eat there. <laughs> All right. He's got something weird on his right uh, forearm. <laughs> it is Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's doing something weird? He's got something weird on there. Oh, he's oh, got something weird. Okay. Looks like so, his, so his hands are above the table is what you're saying. Yep. Does it look mechanical in nature, or does he have, like, a prosthetic arm? He's got a shirt with a big bulge underneath it. Okay. We know where he keeps his guns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's been using that right arm too much. Are you at the bar? Are you in a corner? What are you doing? You're... I am at a table. Okay, by yourself. By myself. All right. Next up, we will go to... I look a little worried. But I'm shifting my vision around at everybody. We're going to go to Mike and Adam. All right. So in this case, we have... Mike is the man in the foreground. Adam is the man in the background. Really? Cool. Yes, because that was the coolest picture I could find for both of them. That's pretty badass. So, Mike, go ahead. What do we see for you? Where are you? Are you guys? You guys are sitting together. Actually, yeah. So we're, we're kind of, I, I, Adam. I'll just uh, I'll say we're sitting together at a table. Okay. Um, we are feasting. We have a huge feast. I am uh, about five ten, hundred eighty pounds. I am probably the best looking guy any of you have ever seen. Sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, except for me, I'm. <laughs> Five eleven, right? Except for little, except for my little, right? Except for my slightly older brother. <laughs> but you know, with age, you get wrinkles. How these two guys? Everybody look. has wrinkles out here. That's true. Mike, how old these two guys look? Uh, Mid thirties. I'm twenty six. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm I'm twenty six, and Adam, I'll say you're twenty eight. And can we see a, a badge anywhere on these two gentlemen? You don't see any badges on on, on me at all. All right, Adam, do you want to talk? Um, well, my character is, is uh, you know, you see him there. He's about 28. You don't see a badge on him, but he definitely looks like he knows how to use the, uh, the pistol on his hip. And uh, he's got his back to the least amount of people at the bar. Mm -hmm. And he's very steadily, got an eye on the door. And he's very steadily, steadily, intently studying everybody else in the bar. And he takes particular notice of the twitchy guy with the gun up his sleeve. Mm, doesn't look like a gun up his sleeve. It looks like a gun. It looks what like I, Popeye. 
<laughs> I'm one arm. <laughs> anyway, Mike, Adam, do you guys have anything else to say? Nope. Was this Scott Joplin? No. Just that, I, just that I am a sight more handsome than the, the little younger fellow there. The handsomest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> the little younger feller. He's got most of his teeth. <laughs> All right, we'll head over to Bob next. <laughs> oh, he, um, forgot one thing. Also, my guy is, uh, Better closest to the spittoon. Yeah, okay. I think Adam's got to look, look, look on it. Oh. Interesting, so. mine will do it now. And I keep, I keep elbowing my brother, asking him for the spittoon. <laughs> uh, Walking in through the double doors of the saloon, stamping oh, his feet right. after so a really long... Really. A uh, few days of driving. Samuel Clemens. You see, uh, t you're very good, my friend. <laughs> that is indeed a, a young Samuel Clemens. Uh, he stamps his feet, getting some dust off of his boots. A uh, gentleman wearing a stiletto, a long red uh, long coat. He's got a long black mustache and deep raven black hair, except for the back left corner, where he's got a shock of white gray. He looks around the room quickly. Sees the ladies, grins. He's not the most great-looking of guys, but he certainly does seem to have a bit of a spark when he smiles and a long, sort of eagle-like, hawk-like nose. He walks up to the ladies and says, Do y'all have gambling out here? I could sure use a game and a drink. Are there gambling tables? There, there are gambling tables. We'll get to that after, after everybody has their, their moment in the sun. He makes his way to a gambling table, sits down, orders some chips and a drink, and looks about as happy as a pig in mud. Chips. Picture happy in mud? <laughs> chips. <laughs> Poker chips. Oh. Poker chips in a drink. Ivory? He, yeah, he wasn't getting nachos. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You all set? All set. On to Chris. You might want to zoom out a little for him. His picture was bigger than the rest. Yes, of course it is. I hope the guy he's got it, the other half of his clothes somewhere. <laughs> it got ripped off. And you, this, this is not what you see. This is actually who he is. But he, uh, what you notice is a uh, a man sitting in a corner. Oriental man. Uh, well, he has a Asian. hat on and a, no, and a duster, so he's got a long leather coat on with a hat on. But you can definitely tell he's not from around these parts. Uh, keeping to himself, uh, you can see a flask in front of him. And uh, he's drinking. Uh, nothing distinct about him. He's keeping to himself, not really looking around. Uh, and that's really what you can notice about him at this point. Hmm. All right. And then last but not least, we'll go to Joel. <laughs> I know a guy who looks like Great him in real life. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a... Yeah. Meekly looking fellow sitting over a table by himself. You'll see a plate of chicken bones in front of him. So he's, he's finished his dinner and he's polishing a variety of items in front of him, including his harmonica, mm -hmm. his, his um, Bowie knife. He's, yeah, he, it's easy to see the guns hanging from his waist and a very prominent shiny badge hanging on his breast. Mm -hmm. Please. What size is his breast? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a quarter chicken. Put a little salt pepper on it. <laughs> Take that. He is, uh, he is a uh, historical figure. I, I, I don't remember which one it was. He, he shot one of the big um, outlaws. He shot the sheriff? But uh, he did not shoot the deputy. Was, that, was right. that the fellow who killed... Uh, What's his name? Wild Bill Hickok during a game of poker when he had aces, aces and eights. Dead man's hand. And then later he was found not Tom guilty. Jerry Hickok was And then they hauled him into court in another court and they found him guilty and they killed him. Was it that guy? I would no, guess not because no. he's still alive. So anyway. Let me, let me figure out. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so you guys are doing your thing and there's uh, a couple gambling tables. A couple of drunk guys stagger over to Woo. Uh, it's a uh, Wong. 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 Wong Fei Hong. Hey, China man! I hear you guys break boards with your hands in your head. Uh, I, I got a dollar says you can't do it. So thank you for your compliment, but I am just here to drink and relax. Oh, uh, come on. I bet anybody in this bar dollar China man can't break the board on his head. 
Arizona Ainsley, Ainsley perks up at this and says, Him, a dollar? You're on. Come on, Chatterman, show us how it's done. I say, sir, I've had way too much to drink and cannot perform as you ask. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice, you notice how he's a little bit drunk at this time. <laughs> That's all of our reason. You wouldn't even feel nothing. So, Come on, there's a lovely meal crush here. I'll get the board right now. I do not break a board for you today. Oh. I appreciate the offer. Man. You sure? I want to take that man's money. Money means nothing to me. Love, peace, happiness is all a man needs. If only the term hippie had been invented. <laughs> He's a Buddhist. <laughs> it, ha it, ha it had, Adam. They just called him Buddhist back in that day. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you switch to uh, Jonas Hill. James Hill. Sorry, James Hill. Adam. I'm trying to keep a low profile. There's a, uh, a very well-dressed man in the corner playing poker, and a couple of seats at his table open up. And he says, uh, he interrupts the, your, 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 Declination of helping uh, of of helping that man win his dollar or lose his dollar. We do have a couple of openings over here for a couple of gambling men. You can tell he's a very fine dressed man, big air of dignity. He's got a big thug on his shoulder. Thug, thug, bodyguard, whatever you'd like to call it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking like literally on his shoulder as a pair. <laughs> you really got to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe it was a term I hadn't heard of before. Like, anyway. Oh, it's the man I'm looking for. Why, well, sir, I'll join your game. Yeah, I'm not Southern, so I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I declare, I will join your game. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I said, this <laughs> All right, and he introduces, introduces himself as James J. Hill. Can everybody please give me a common knowledge smarts check to see if you know who James J. Hill is? Oh, smarts is not my... Uh, Whatever your smart is. Oh yeah, and then just roll it. You roll, with the roll it, and you want to be, you want to four heart. Yes. This is not my strong suit. I rolled an eleven. Excuse me. Five. Two and a three. Shoot. Failure. Don't forget the wild eye. Got it. I I rolled an eleven, Josh. Okay. I'm waiting for Adam to roll. Uh. If you get a four, you're good. Oh, now. yeah. Yeah, I got a six. All right, so um, those of you who make your, your, your role realize that James J. Hill is the, one of the chief executives for the Wasatch Rail Company. Uh-oh. Mm. Wasatch is owned and operated by Darius Hellstrom, mad science extraordinaire who runs the City of Gloom, a.k.a. Salt Lake City, mm. where he manufactures numerous <laughs> infernal creations, if you use the terminology in the... Guidebook. I'm getting some of that fire whiskey. <laughs> you got I, uh, I'm in, I am in character. <laughs> I, 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 I elbow my brother and I said, you know who that man is, right? That you're going to gamble with? Oh, I'm well aware, brother. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch your back on this one instead of sitting down. You do that. Always appreciate it. Little brother. Don't worry about this, though. I can handle him. Bob, are you joining the game as well? If there's a game, there's poker, baby. Arizona is joining it. Okay, you got cash. Arizona got some, cash. Put some cash on the table, man. He puts oh down. Uh, he looks around and sees what, what size what are the we pots are. Yeah. <laughs> he's a dollar. Okay, I can do that. All right, puts in a dollar. Puts in a dollar. Oh yeah. Over there. Never mind. Never mind. I'll move the table. I won't ask you. <laughs> You're a wise Long. man. Long face says, "Wise man." <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, per the I don't join the game, but I move closer so I can watch the game. Okay, now, just remember that none of you know each other. You have no loyalty or no interest in the other person other than curiosity. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, that's perfect. <laughs> Dire music. All right, so, everybody <laughs> empties up their dollar. I deal each player two cards, then I deal three off. Fair enough. It's basically Texas Hold'em. Yeah. yeah. Except you can stop it at any time. Thank you, sir. All right, I have a deal of five of clubs, a five of hearts, oh, nice. and a queen of clubs to the, uh, the up. Oh. 
Uh, now everybody makes a gambling check. Okay. For each success or raise, they get an extra card. Ah. If only I had any points in gambling, I think it was my occupation I would. Yeah, no. I select two more cards. Here's a charitable contribution that we get was greater than the chance. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Bob, you sure. Arizona? Mike's got a great view. Arizona's going to Benny it. What? We want to store our pants. He didn't roll very well for his gambling check the first time. Don't so forget your wild eye. <laughs> you have to give up cards for that? He drops his no. cards on the... <laughs> I rolled snake eyes. Whoa. Critical <laughs> failure. You get to keep the yeah. higher of the two. He flashes his cards so everybody at the table sees them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. He failed. Maybe he did that on purpose. He shows them to everyone, and <laughs> everybody can see he's got a jack of spades and a ten of hearts. Whoa. Which means he's got nothing right now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> means All right, so uh, a couple of guys bow out, leaving... Uh, James Hill in, and Adam, what's your name? Um, what's my name again? Wiley Coyote? Something like that. Mike, what's my name? I liked your name better than my name. Um, you could be Dwight, and I could be Dawson. Dwight and Dawson, yes. I'm Dwight. What's our last name? Root. Okay. <laughs> Underhill. Arizona folds out. What? Dwight, what do you got? I don't need any more cards to beat you. So now we um <laughs> now we shoot. You'll fall now. <laughs> and when he hands take the stake, anti time is the PowerPoint value of your hand. Mm -hmm. So what do you got for a hand? I got an ace high on top of those fives. <laughs> <laughs> so you have four cards. <laughs> so I say overconfident. <laughs> <laughs> he puts down his uh his his third five. Oh <laughs> does he have what? Oh, I don't know if he's going to do it or not. Cheater. <laughs> what, what, Jeff, what, what, what is this? <laughs> I should have brought my card tripler. <laughs> I got one. Josh, you brought one. Oh, did he? Right there. So, uh, we all scratch off a dollar. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I won my I, 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 I was going to put mine down at the end, but I'll probably lose track. Really loud shuffling. He's right, 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 right by the microphone. microphone. <laughs> My three of a kind won me five bucks. So what do they call you in these parts? <laughs> you can call me Mr. Hill. <laughs> Mr. Hill. I call. Oh, what's his first name again? James. So James, how long have you been playing poker? <laughs> <laughs> That's on the internet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Two cards down for each of those boys. Longer than you've been alive, boy. I can tell. Thank you, lady. Hurry up. <laughs> Make your gambling checks. What are you all still playing? Yeah. Two of spades, four of hearts, king of hearts. Ah. Now, part, part, possible flush out there with some extra cards. Mm. I get one extra. Mm. I rolled an so 11 in order. Okay, go ahead. So that is two, two raises. raises. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Adam critical fails. <laughs> Dwight. Oh, I forgot to do it. At a, I'm at a minus two on these two. Dwight fumbles matter. his cards, showing his complete amateur rank as being a uh, card player. You think I'm doing it? Uh, you think it's by accident? All right. What do you got, boy? What? I think I got something that you're gonna have to pay to see, my friend, Mr. Hill. There is no raising. It's just play now. Oh, there's no raising. It's, fold, it's folder up. Okay. That's so they go back and forth, and then Arizona flashes a smile, revealing two jacks. Pretty nice. I got two king, boy. Do you now? Yes, I do. Well, I've always had respect for loyalty, sir. You can take my dollar. So. Let me ask you something, James. <laughs> Mr. Hill, boy. As I said, James, how come you have two kings of hearts? Let's see those cards again, James. There ain't no two kings of hearts. I Are know. Are you calling me a cheater, boy? I believe I just did. Boy, that's killing words out here. I ain't got no problem with killing you for cheating me out of my money, James. Well, why don't we go have a chat outside? Well, let's do that. Gentlemen, as a fun, my money's invested in there, too. I think I'd like a word after he's finished with you. Oh, don't worry. He won't be saying much. Mm. Don't worry. My boy Silas, he won't be at nothing left to talk about when Silas is done with him. Oh, okay.
I, excuse me, my, my quarrel is not with Silas, James. My quarrel is with you. Smart men don't, think that, don't waste time with gutter trash. Silas smart men don't come into dirty dirty. Smart men don't, don't, don't cheat in a, in a uh, wonderful establishment like this. You still call me a cheater. That's why Silas is going to take care of you. If, I'm, if, if, you, if you insist on putting Silas up in front of me to die first, I will come after you when I'm done with him. Josh, I, Josh, I, I step back. I step back, draw my gun, and point it right at Cyrus. Twelve guys point guns at you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Not now, brother. This, this now seems now. like deja vu. <laughs> yeah. I, now, finish, I finish my drink. Mike, 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 uh, one gentleman, as, as you're preparing to pull your guns, a gentleman puts his hand on your shoulder and whispers in your ear, look around. You won't walk out of here if you pull that. Look give, me a, give me a notice check, please. Everybody, you're Mike. 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 Hmm. He knows all the guns. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed one of his sleep. Yeah, <laughs> little boy's sleep. <laughs> Seven. Seven? All right, so that's a success, but no raise. You notice at least eight guys, <laughs> bless Steve right. Newton, seem to be paying right. particular attention, have their hands on their weapons, and are probably in the employ of Mr. Hill. <laughs> I place I place my hand on my brother's shoulder and I tell him that this is probably not the most advised situation. Oh, I have ha, ha, <clears throat> try and get my northern guy. <laughs> have no fear, brother. This will not take long. <coughs> now, now, friends, come on. This is just a friendly game here. I have a simple solution. Why don't we just use one of my decks? And he produces a deck of cards. I'm, I don't think that using your deck will get me my last two hands back. What a big deck you I have. <laughs> I, I appreciate the offer. Thank you, gentlemen. However, Very good. there's been a breach of etiquette here that must be addressed. Well, now this is a shame. Silas, I believe you're in the way of your boss. We you come outside, please. <coughs> uh, oh, right. God damn! Enough. That is up now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not coming from outside. I've had enough. It wasn't coming from me because you can still hear. It. So Silas is in the street, waiting for you. <sighs> if you insist. Go, what are you doing? I'm drawn first. Sitting there. Uh, I can assure you it will not be me. Tonight. I have no quarrel with you, Silas. <laughs> it's a foolish way to die. Silas doesn't say much. <laughs> you didn't write those lines, huh? Silas doesn't say much. <laughs> Does he have a tongue? Does he have a tongue? Silas doesn't say much. <laughs> Come on, now I won't say yeah. Do you look like you've drawn? That must be you. I know it's coming. What? Mike, can you hear it or that? Are you breaking up now? You're breaking up now. Okay. I can't hear anything. All right, so I turn on. I, I can't get a So uh, ooh, apparently, Dwight and Silas are going to have a duel now. Yes, yes. Arizona gets up and steps outside to watch. I would assume pretty much everybody comes out to watch. Correct. Okay. The, the bar empties. I mean, even the bartender standing in the doorway to see what happens. Uh, before they can act, if it's okay with you, he's going to hang back and he's going to use, making sure that nobody can see him, a little bit of hex slinging to improve Dwight's shooting skill I can see before him. the duel starts. Huh? And uh, the trappings on this particular skill, there's no flash of light. It's quiet. There, actually, there's no movement that happens. It just improves his skill if, if it succeeds. So it costs two PowerPoint, and all I have to do is not get screw up on a roll. Yeah, get a four. Uh, and if you add them together. Yeah. You know, I'm using one more Benny. Go for it. Why not, dude? Go I'm, for it. I'm a gambler. Don't use your keypad. You're, you're messing up. Okay, do it. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so I didn't get a raise, but I did get a four. So your shooting just went up by one D, by one dice. Oh, shit. I'm rolling a D10 for shooting now. <laughs> okay. I've moved. You, by the way, I'm off the... You suddenly feel ground. like you're at one with your gun. You're not sure why you feel this way, but you feel like you're having a good day. Like you just had a cup right. of coffee. Right, any, look, more, any more than any other day. I look at Silas. <laughs> you tell Silas to kill a lot of men. <laughs> for a lot less reasons. I'm right. going to... I'm going to do a note. Use one of my powers... To try to distract his sense of confidence. So the duel works. We each get two cards. I am going to use one of my power points. It's a lot like gambling, as I recall. I'm listening. To lower his. Uh, 
the lower has the uh, oh, or the lower has taunt the shooting. Yeah. A shooting. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna do a notice check on the buildings to see if I yeah, notice any, anybody this. hanging out with Bob. What are you looking at? Or guns or that's so you're looking stuff. at your weird science skill. Whatever that is, you need to do a target roll of four. Do you know what you roll for? Do I roll again for four? Yes. So it's smart. Four, yes. Is, is weird science equal to your smart? Seven. Yeah. Okay, so whatever that is. I noticed. You don't have a skill called weird science then? Okay, then we'll take your smarts. So whatever your smarts is with a target of four. And if you get a raise, really good things happen. But don't get... You should have the weird science skill, shouldn't you? Where would it be? It would be, be one of your skills. Did you <laughs> knowledge science? Okay, knowledge science. Yeah. This uh, okay. These yeah. these people obviously work for the railroad. Seven. Oh, uh, almost a raise. All right. So I move close. Oh wait, to did you get a one on any of those? His brother Michael, okay. and uh, I look at him and go, "There are people all around with guns pointed at your brother." I tell him. I tell him. I'm very well aware of this. I attempted to stop my brother inside, but he did not listen. Guns upon rooftop. He so will he not is, win. Well, it, you don't know if they're to make sure he loses or to make sure that nobody things go down fair. Correct. Fair. But just let him know. Fair. Just let him know. Fair. <laughs> the the, the gunfight in the street is sacred. There is. I, I I walk out. I walk out into the street to my brother. And I tell him that this is not a good idea. There are guns on the rooftops pointed at us right now. Of course there are, brother. That's what I have you for. Take care of that for me. Um, <laughs> that's just me. I can't get to both sides of the street at the same time. Brother, what started can't be, it can't be undone at this point. I'll take care of him. You take care of everybody else. Find some friends if you need to. You're good at stuff like that. I go over to Mr. Hill. Hill. Not Mr. Underhood. Mr. Hill. <laughs> This doesn't have to happen. I that can, boy insulted my honor. It's evident. I can help your boss. Do you know who my boss is? I know who your boss is. Your boss knows who, who's I am. Yeah? Who's I am? <laughs> <laughs> You're really getting into the part. The un uneducated. I'll be happy to talk to you when this is done. I'm looking for some entertainment. All right, anybody else? I just have a question. What did you do with your cool science? I lowered his shooting skill. Uh -huh. yeah, nice. Okay. 1D. All right, so now <laughs> you, make our, you can make a taunt or an intimidation check. I will do intimidation, and I will say, Silas, don't be the eighth man I've had to kill in this fashion. My quarrel is with your boss. You may step aside, and there will be no loss. Silas doesn't say a word. He just gives you a look. He don't say nothing. He just gives you that look. He just gives you that look. He grabs it and <laughs> goes for his own. Little flash. Little flash. Little flash. Little flash. Little flash. All right, what do you got for your intimidation? At least I'm trained in intimidation. <laughs> Barely. Three. I had 15. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> You've just shot yourself. I know who's intimidating. You see, you see. Okay, so... I flinch. <laughs> you, you flinch first. So in, in the rules of the West... Well, that means that I got a minus two. Well, you get a minus two on your shooting roll when the time comes. And when the time comes, I get West, to choose first. In the rules of the West, you were the one attacking. Yeah. So if you kill Silas, you're guilty of murder. Well, if Silas okay. kills you, he's guilty of self-defense. Uh, according to the rules, all these yeah, people around me will swear that I that he drew first. Should I win? Right. So anyway, so I'm going to deal three cards. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I got a badge to get me out of this. <laughs> I'm going to deal three cards. Oh wait, no, I work for a private agency. Yeah. Shit. I'll, I'll... One at a time. And when, if you think you have a hand that you're ready to play, you say shoot. For those who are watching, I will call it out. Five, the puppy's feet. Yeah, this is tough for Mike to see. I feel bad. Five, puppy feet. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me show Mike my cards. You deal three. Oh, three. easy. You deal three, then you deal the nasty. Oh, okay. Four. Sorry. And we got a five of clubs. Six spades. Spades. Ace. Nice. A hearts. Ace. It's a heart. Mm, interesting. I'm still twitching. I'm not drawing yet. All right. Deal another. Another Silas. Jack of hearts. Jack of hearts. Shoot! <laughs> Josh doesn't think you should shoot. I don't think you should shoot yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm twitching. You shot. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, pair of jacks. I got a pair shoot. of jacks. Pair of jacks. Unfortunately, trip aces. 
I am, I am ace high. Oh, oh, oh nice. Yeah. So that's... Pair of jacks. Uh, that gives me an extra d6 on my damage. Yes. So, uh, are we supposed to know... Am I supposed to know that yet? It doesn't matter. Choose cool. speed or accuracy. Speed represents a minus two penalty to draw and shoot. Quick draw negates this. See, now, I have ambidextrous and two-fisted. Can I draw both guns? No. I read the rules on that. You can't. That's cheating. Well, you can only fire one shot. Yes, you yeah, get, can you fire get one, one shot shooting roll. That's what you get. And then you go into normal combat. Ooh, then you go into normal combat shooting. the next round. Oh, okay. All right. Those are stinky shooters. Don't smell. Well, with a, oh, since shoot. I've already got a minus two, I am not going to go for... Actually, shit. Yeah, he was just telling the door, so it doesn't... Speed. I'm rolling a D12. No, I'm rolling a D10. Minus four. I'm rolling a D10. Minus four is bad. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll go for accuracy. Are you going for speed or accuracy? I'm going for speed. You should oh, I don't have a minus two. So <laughs> watch what she does. Now you, you said I. You I, go I, first. I lose, if I lose a die type or I'm minus two. I think it's die type, right, Bob? Yeah. You, your die type goes down by one. Okay. So whatever. If it's a D10, it goes to D8. If it's a D12 plus 1, it goes to D12. <laughs> right. Well, it was D12. Okay. So it was a D10. Oh, so you're evened up on your shooting now. You're going to get a 1. So the gun's going to blow up. You could hope that. Oh, boy. <laughs> 9. Oh. So hit with a raise. Hit with a raise. You do damage to me before I even fire. Yes. If I remember right. Yes, mm -hmm. I do damage to you now for my... Shit, what do I have? Uh, Mike, your brother's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quick. If I can better not be. Right. Jesus. Uh, okay. So I got two D6. Does that include the extra D6? Yeah, because there's no pistol. Oh, I got a D6 for the raise. You got a pistol with two D6? This, what's your, what's your, your, your gun? Bob. All the, all the, all the pistols, all the pistols are just about two D6. Oh, that's right. I was thinking this one. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so you got three. It's a 2D6. How many are you re-rolling? Two. Oh, my gosh. Fifteen. How many hit points do you have? Ow. It's your toughness. No. But it's not All right, so that's a... I have a toughness of five. So that's effectively a ten, which is a hit and a raise. So that wounds me. I'm shaken and wounded. I'm going to soak that. You suck at catching things. Those are hard to catch. So it's a spirit roll, right? Yes. Y'all, it's on my third. Yeah. You know, in the zombie game, if you ever got a wound, you were dead. So we've never gotten a zombie where you had to take a wound before. Oh, dear lord. I, I, can I roll again, even if I got snake eyes? Critical failure on your soap? Yeah, you can roll. You, well, I don't think that really Benny. counts for anything. Yeah. You just gotta yeah. spend the Benny. Wow, these dice oh, are not going. That away. one was all me. That was all your I'll, fault. I'll, 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 let me roll. Don't worry about it. Roll. Roll. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I soaked a wound, uh, so I'm just shaking. You know, what? I'm going to add an additional d6 on top of that. Oh, nice. Oh, the blue one. I don't even get me for that. Roll your d6 first. See what you get for your bonus. So I got a four. And it was actually a four. Come when, on. When all our bennies are gone, that's when we start playing cards with them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used any bennies yet. I mean, and I'm already down to one benny. <laughs> and Adam's out. <laughs> and Adam's out of bennies. Or Dwight is out of bennies. Dwight's out. And Arizona's got one. Uh, seven, so that didn't help me at all. It, it, I rolled a three, so my total okay. soak is a seven. So I'm shaken, but I'm not wounded. Okay. So you now sure about that? that? Yeah, because it's you hit me with a four, you hit me with you hit me with a raise, 15. and I soaked off one of those. My right, damage was a fifteen. Yeah, I've got a toughness of ten. Right. Whoa. Toughness of five. Right. So which leaves you with ten damage. Mm -hmm. That's a hit and a raise. Yes. The first hit is the shake, and the second okay. hit is the damage. I'm shaken. Okay. So I'm firing at a minus two. What does shaken let me do? Shaken doesn't let you act. That can't be right. Prevents your actions. I can't, I still, now. Is that how it works in the duel? Page 68, player's guy. Shit, I should have saved a Benny. <laughs> I could have gotten... Somewhere along the line, I think I'm going to say I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, he's shaken. Does he get to shoot? I think he, when your turn comes up... Because if, he, if he's dead, he doesn't get to shoot. But if he's shaken, the question is... you got to drop the shaken to be able to take an action. It's just like regular combat. You gotta that, was, that was my... 
inclination as well. Yeah. Ew. So I think now he's got a roll to drop the... Now, I don't so think he has anything left to roll. He said, well, well no, I mean, I can, it's at the beginning of my turn I can roll. Correct. Okay, I'd, ra yeah. I'd rather have had a Benny to just drop to and take the wound and drop the Shaken, but... Oh, shit, that sucks. We'll have to look that up tomorrow, tonight, or whatever. Uh, so this is a... It's a, it's a bigger roll, right? Same thing. A bigger yes. spirit, whichever one's greater. Yeah, they're both the same. Okay. So which one is it? Yes. <laughs> I got a four, so I'm not shaken. But you don't get to act. But I don't get to act. Yeah. Is the baby or bone? So now we go into oh. melee. Well, we go into combat. 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 Yeah. We give all down for two. Two cards for it. Yeah. Pretend you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. No oh, dirt in his eyes. <laughs> That's an Jeff, did you shuffle the red ones? Yep. Yeah. Sure. You guys want to? You want to be dealt in, or are you still watching? No, I ain't doing nothing. I'm still at my table. Arizona's a gambling man, but he's not suicidal. Oh, he's, he's done his part. He's, he's just watching now. Silas. So I got the nine? You got the nine? All right. I am not shaken. I am not wounded. I'm going to shoot at you twice with my with my two pistols. So it's a D8 still. My two peacemakers. D8 still D10? So I've got... Oh, yeah. we got to keep track of that. Your, your D10 lasts for three rounds. So that was round oh, okay. one. This is round number two. So I'm down. I've got... Well, after this, I'll have five in one and four in the other. And I've got my shooting is a D10 because of Bob. Arizona. Arizona. So roll number one. I hit. I'll roll that damage. It was a, a, well, actually, I was assuming I hit. It's just a straight four, right? Yeah. It's just okay, yeah, I, I got a... I got a, a five on one of my on my D no I got a, a six on my D ten, and now I got to roll damage two D six plus one. Be careful, he might have a stove, an iron stove. Sort of like Marty four plus one is <laughs> five. So he's a toughness of six. Four plus one is five. Nothing. So he shakes it off. Wow. All right, well I got, I'm, I'm shooting two fisted. So. Wait, I do have one question. You did get a bonus D6 damage from the draw. That, that, that was only. That was only. For, I think that was only for the duel. I understand. Okay. okay. All right, so shot for my my left hand pistol. Shot to the heart. I don't blame. Blame. To blame. Oh. I got a four on my D D10 D again. Mm. Just barely hitting. Let's see if I can do some damage this time. See some aces. And I got a five again. Sorry. Plus one is six. Oh, well, Sorry, not six. So you are shaken. I'm just gonna burn the bay right off the top. To... Well, take your roll first. There's no. Josh, while this is going on, I'm gonna make my way up to the rooftop. See if I can take out one of those guys up there, so I can at least cover him from down below. This, this, uh, I don't. I don't think there's realistically time. I mean, this is bang, bang, bang. I don't know that you can get up to the rooftop that quickly. Makes sense. Uh, I mean, I don't want to belittle what you're saying, but I think we got to take some re some <laughs> sense into that. Uh, if you want to make start making your way to that, we can say that. Well, okay. That that's what I said. I'm making my way to the rooftop. Okay. All right. So uh, I can make a uh, spirit or vigor. Is that what it is? It's it is one or the other. Yeah. Which which one is. Okay. So I got a six. Uh, I don't think it's that. So can I do a notice check? I just want to see about the people up in the. Sure. I get a six. So that just, that would. So if you want to act, you'll need to spend a penny. Yeah, so I spend Four. a penny. You notice at least two guys up there. Any puffs of smoke? Oh wait, never mind. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit. Yes, yeah, so there's puffs of smoke in front of me from my freaking, in front of my peacemakers. I got a seven and a five, so my seven is a hit. Seven is a hit. And six. Get more. under five. Seven. That's a hit. With a. Shake. So I'm shaken. Yeah, it's one of two. Yeah. And I can't yeah. do anything about it except for take my my roll at the top of my turn. So it's my oh, we got a new new initiative. Initiative. So I may not even get my turn. So and, and I am yeah. shaken. So there's a bunch of shooting going on. You're still sitting inside. You're by yourself, sitting inside. I keep mine on things. Thanks, <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> by the way, Arizona's going to slip oh. back inside if he can. See if there's any money on that poker table still. 
Uh, with your with your acute sense of fevery, mm -hmm. you'd notice that he took all his money as soon as he walked out. Nuts. So you don't have to go back inside to know that. that <laughs> Wong oh, Fei is still sipping from his cantina. So if I'm shaken, what does that confer to you? Anything? Uh, I don't think I get anything, but you don't get to act. Yeah. There's okay. no. You don't. He doesn't get a plus because you're shaken. Okay. So I got a, I got a five on my D10. That's it. Your music like dying. Keep it under five. Great. Alright, uh, my turn. I'm sh I'm doing my trying to get rid of my shaking. Ooh, I got a six. And oh shit, wrong button. What do you do? Uh, eight. Yeah. Seven. Well, the fucking one. So I'm no longer shaking, but I did not get to act. Okay. No, it's no, no point in having you get up all the time. What do we got here? Oh! Joker! Joker, plus two for Adam. Thank goodness. Two more shots. And I'm keeping track of the the, the cylinders. Mike Mike has made it on a, a ladder. It's up on top of one of the roofs where one of the other guys has gone up. Oh, by the way, I'll go first. Because I get to choose when I go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nine. So that's a Niner. raise. I got a seven raise. with a plus two on the Joker. And you're using the um, the D10 shooting, right? Yep. This is the. This is the. Last I got a round seven on my D10. Round. Oh, okay. Good. Remind me next round because I'll forget. Silas. So I'm rolling three D6 plus three. One for the gun and two for the Joker. Uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Eleven. So that's six two. toughness. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. It's a hit. So it's a shaking. You're just shaking. I'm just shaking. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make my... That's so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you take two shots or one shot? Oh, that was one shot. You're right. I got, I got two uh, two guns. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. And they're happening simultaneously. Okay. So it's not like... A... Uh, uh, ten yeah. total. So that's another 3d6. Good luck. Roll hot. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine again. So that's a wound. He was shaking in a wound. I don't know. I'm shooting you. I'm basically, well, I'm, I don't know how that I'll goes. call it. I guess it's a wound then. Okay. I won't argue. So I will try to soak that. All right. Okay. I rolled a six, so I soaked one. All right? Yeah. All right. So I'm down to shaking. Shaking. I'll yeah. use a Benny on my turn. Okay, so that means you will get to act on your turn. Yep. So now I'm going to fire back. Are we keeping track of bullets here? I am, yeah, because I've only got a six shot. I thought I'm an NPC, I have infinite number of bullets. Come on! Wait a minute, don't the good guys get an infinite number of bullets no. too? No. I know what Bruce you're Bruce Willis does, but you don't. <laughs> he, did a, he did a Western. He's so did Indiana Westerns. Jones, apparently, because yes. he was shooting. I got, I, got a, I got a Niner. Sure. That's a hit and a raise. raise. Mike, are you up top yet? Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's to the ladder. Yeah, one of the buildings. Eleven. Eight, seven, six. So I am again shaken. So you stagger, and one of the guys on the roof opposite the one Mike is going to, he saw Mike leave, pops you. I have no idea. I just I got. He shoots at you. He, he shoots. shot me. That's all I know. Yeah. Another, another <laughs> guy shoots you from one of the roofs. No. Fine. It's become a Ooh. Ooh. It's over a card. Eighteen. But he's only at three D. Uh, 4d6 because a rifle, right? I don't know. It depends on the damage on the gun. I don't know. Mike, so most of the rifles are like 3d6? They do look My, I got a winch um, 73, which is 2d8. Okay. Well, two depe de depending on the rifle, some of them are still, some of them are 2d8s. Okay, I'll do 2d8 plus the... Uh, plus a d6. Yeah, plus a d6. You can still roll low on that. You just got to keep it under 5. That's true. 14. Oh, boy. 14 minus okay. 5 is 9. It's pretty much dead. And I'm shaking... Oh, wounds. that's two wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I have a, a third wound and an in cap. Yeah, don't forget, you get incapacitated after you take the fourth wound. <clears throat> Around? Up. That poor guy out there, this is all over a matter of $2. That's a shame. What did I snag here? You first with the king of hearts. I got a king, and I'm going to four. Oh, oh it'll be, it'll be a third card. 
Oh, now yeah, the my cards. cards become unfair. Okay, so uh, bad guy, I'll keep yours kind of together. Sorry. And Mike got a ten of ten of diamonds, and your guy got a ten of hearts. Hey there, Mr. Hill. You're, you your guy one first. Of your... Yes. You're both your guys. All right. So Silas is just gonna shoot. Five. Where's your little guy? That's a hit. Is he outside? Yeah, he went outside and cast the spell. Remember, he, he uses six damage to lower Silas. Uh, that's a third wound. And the guy at the roof will also shoot again. Shooting at me? Yes. So he said he was going after Mike. There's two guys on the roof. One guy's shooting at you. The other guy's looking for Mike. One they're on opposite is the opposite sides of the street. Mr. Hale, that's just actually how how would the guy under how would the guy above me be able to know that I even left the feet, the area? So he's right on top of the roof. He's watching the whole thing. You went out. Okay, to talk, you went out to talk to your brother in the street. Yeah. Right, and then I walked I back to the, the building. Guy, and then the other guy signaled. Well, those streets like if you're if you if you. Oh, I'm sorry. Down. I, I missed I missed the part where the signal happened. Uh, nine. That's a raise. Nine damage. No, that was your shooting roll. What was your no, shooting my, roll? my shooting roll was a seven. Okay, so you I are fall to the ground. Capacitated, I believe. I am in cap. Uh, yep. Avenge me, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> Arizona checks to see if uh, Dwight's shoes look better than his own. Uh, well, Mike's still, Mike has made it to the roof where one of the one of the shooters the shooters ready for him. But Mike, um, why don't we roll an agility check to see who goes first? All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Fifteen. There's That's gonna be hard to beat. No, no. All right. <laughs> well, yep. I, I don't know. I mean, Fifteen, Mike. <laughs> I rolled an eight and seven. Yeah, I, I can't beat that. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I should probably look at where this is where the shootout's happening. I couldn't beat that with three d six. This guy is not a. Uh, yeah, I should have moved back. This guy is not a wild card, so he only gets the, the shooting roll. He doesn't get more than that. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, I was gonna be fighting a wild card. He rolled a seven, so that is a hit. So I'm assuming I'm assuming he's just shooting me, I, whether or not he's actually trying to. Am I up the ladder? Where am I? <laughs> You're up the ladder onto the roof. You're dead. You guys are face to face. You're squaring off, and Josh is showing us his box cars. I, I can't see it. Oh, there's two sixes <laughs> for your damage, and then two ones. Oh boy. So that's 14 damage to the mics. So that's two wounds. I uh, what's, no, what's your toughest, Mike? Six. Six. So that's a shaken and a wound. I can't subtract that fast, but I believe you. Okay. Give me an agility check to make sure you don't fall off the ladder, Mike. Well, I thought I was on the roof. Am I on the roof or you, am I on the ladder? You were getting onto the roof. Oh. He's going to start. Well, a, a second ago, I was on the roof, squared okay. off with the guy. Now okay. I'm on the ladder again. Okay, maybe, fine. Maybe maybe staggers back down the. Yeah, I don't. I oh, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. You're on, you're on the roof. You're hit. You're shaken with one wound. So do you. My, agil my agility roll was a ten. Okay, so you're good. So you got to soak that. Yes. You want to? You got to spend want a penny to soak. soak. You want to spend a red or a blue? Blue. What does the blue one do for me again? Blue one does not allow Josh to draw a penny. F uh, fate chip. Fate chip. It also lets you roll a 1d6, and then you add that to your to whatever roll you're redoing. But he can't do that until he spends a, bending, uh, a fake chip in the first place. No, no. He can roll his soak roll, then he can add a d6 to that roll. You don't get a Basically. soak roll without spending a, a, a penny. Okay. okay. So, I mean, he could spend a red one and then add, yeah. him, add another d6 after with another chip? I see. So you, you spend a red one then, Mike? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll spend a red one. Right. Assuming you're soaking, you could just not soak it. But then you're minus one for every roll. Um. How <laughs> are you doing? Did it, did she jump on you? Your breaker. Well, if I, if I if I'm yeah. So I'm shaken with a wound. I can't yeah. have any action. So correct. So you have to try to soak. Well, you, yeah. So I have to soak to to get shaken. shaken and keep the wound. Depends yeah. on how well you roll. It's Mike. He's gonna roll fantastic. That's true. All right, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna spend a penny right now. I'm gonna. I just want to know how you're gonna save me. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm, save you. 
Bob, tell me let's dice roll away roll. Six. Six. What do you mean? Six. <laughs> Four. Fourteen. What? Away. So I, I rolled a sixteen on my on my roll. Bob, can you just go? <laughs> no. Bob loves it. Bob looks Adam was dying the first night. That's awesome. <laughs> so two. Mike just soaked everything I threw at him. Just blew the can of paint. <laughs> well done. Mike. He's like a sham. Like, he's like a sham. Wow. He can sponge it out. It's like Jeff Frank it. It's like Jeff Lever. Exactly. I'm glad Mike's so better than me. Go ahead and shoot Mike. Okay. I take out. So, that's a eight. So what, I rolled an eight total. It's a hit. Okay, so that's a hit with a raise. So okay, that's so an extra d6 to your, your damage. Okay, so an extra d6. I'm glad I took two guns to not hit with. Oh, I hit, I just didn't do damage. That's should, the hard part. Should have taken a bigger gun. Four, eight, sixteen. All right, so, Mike, did you hit him with your rifle or your pistol? I guess your pistol since you're kind of... My, my pistols. Mike opens fire, blasts the guy in the chest. Mike, what's your guy's name? Dwayne? Huh? What's your guy's name? Dwayne? Dwayne. No, Dawson. Dawson. Oh, that's going to be so hard with Dawson's group, but anyway. Um, Dawson opens fire, blows a hole in the guy's chest. He falls over, flips over, face down in the street. So now everybody knows that I was hornswoggled? At the same time, Mr. Hill walks up. Mr. Hill? Mr. Hill walks up, removes a a small (laughs) pistol from in his jacket, and plants a bullet right in Dwight's head. So he's going to murder me in front of all these people? You're already dead. You, you acted first against his man. He's also really powerful, doesn't care. He owns the town. He's dead. So I'm not going to be able to heal. Yeah. That's pretty much it. He walks over, he puts the bullet in your head, he says, boys, let's get going. And, and no less than eight guys, nine guys, walk out of the crowd and follow he and Silas. Toward the uh, you have a backup character. Corral. I don't mean like six characters. You know what, <laughs> what about your your third brother? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. The triple. Tri- bury me, bury me well. You can have all my stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I was undecided. You know how many Holy shit. Brothers. <laughs> the uh, the marshal who would. I'm going to be very surly tomorrow in chat. Just saying. I'm sorry. We see more from the little while. The, uh, the marshal who, it was a marshal who put his hand on Mike's shoulder to uh, warn him. Mm. He points at you almost like randomly. He points at, Jeff, what's your name? Trey. Trey. Adam, what's your new name? Uh, <laughs> Do you seriously have another one? He makes like four characters every time. Really? I, I bet I'm happy. <laughs> Adam is coming out with a fresh character sheet. Look at that. So what what is this guy? Guy? I had to think of so I could see which one was better. I figured two guns over the Explorer. <laughs> Apparently I figured wrong. <laughs> uh, this is Robert Bob Harris. Okay, Bob. That's He's really like, going to be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Arizona. Are you are you going for Arizona? Zona? Arizona. I could be Robert. Uh, he's, he's, he's Eastern. He's, he's, he's okay. uh, Metropolitan. You're Robert. Robert. Wong. Wong Fei. Wong. Wong Fei. To Wong uh, Mike is Darwin. Dawson. Dawson. Darwin. <laughs> Joel, you're what's again? My name? Yes. Warren. Warren. <laughs> Warren. Right. Are you it's Warren because you serve Warren? Like you know, that's a good way to get pistol whipped. <laughs> <laughs> so the... Uh, the, the marshal steps forward, kind of dismisses, starts to dismiss the crowd a little bit. Points at Trey, Robert, Arizona, Wong, Fei. and Wong Fei. Wong Fei. <laughs> and Warren, and says, uh, "Call me. I need I need some witnesses to deal with the paperwork." So I, in the crowd, you see Robert Harris. He's a, a short, slightly round. Uh, man with a, a derby hat. He has an air sophistication, slight, slight air sophistication about him. Curly hair, glasses. He's You're not sure he entirely belongs out here. <laughs> 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 but it doesn't look too out of place. He's kind of you notice him in a crowd, but you don't go, "What the hell is he doing here?" Go all the way. Yeah, he's you? not normal. Pop. 
No, sir. Because he's, he's just like, he's, he looks like he should be in a city, not out in the saloon. So is he a physical guy? Does he look like he could get in a fight? No. No. Okay. I mean, he, he looks, I mean, he's a little, he's a little thick. Okay. But he can't move very well. All right. The, uh, Josh, the guy, the guy that I shot in the chest, where is he? Uh, okay. Face down the street, Jim. Okay. I go up and I put my boot in his face. But he's, there's nothing left of him anyway. He blew a hole in his chest the size of Texas. All right, I check his pockets. Get something out of this. Walk, walk Faith pipes in, uh, war does not determine who is right. War determines who is left. Why do you sound like a Jewish... <laughs> because <laughs> I'm Jewish. Are you a Jewish title? Are, are you Jewish? Sports. He's a Jewess. You don't want to, you don't want your title watch your mom, I don't know if you're Buddhist or Hindu. He, uh, he also yeah, says, you know what the funny thing is, oh, go in inside and get the, the other sheriff in there. Bring him along, too. Who's telling me this? No, the marshal all the time. I go get the... Warren. Oh, Warren. So, Warren. Yeah, Mike? Warren, sir. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Marshall. Uh, two, you get two Marshall cookies Warren. makers, Warren, Warren, uh, a Winchester 73. I'm shuffle my way out. A Tomahawk. I, I didn't even know where I got my sheriff. Marshall didn't want none of that. And uh, 50 rounds of ammo for oh, the pistol so and for the rifle. Chance. This is a good way to... Am I, you, any, you have any money on you? Guys, this is yeah, a good way to... Yeah, $111. In dollars? Okay. That's <laughs> true. Oh, and my tobacco, like if you want it, and my duster, and my... Uh, no, I didn't get a Stetson, I got a fedora. Uh, Stetsons are just a little too pretentious. Before yeah. folks had a chance to <laughs> kneel at the body, I know... And uh, some rope. Dwight's brother is at the body of the villain, and the marshal is organizing people... Does Arizona have a chance to kneel down and make as if he's checking the pulse and then maybe take a couple of dollars from the belt pouch of the fellow? Without being You're seen? welcome to make a... Belt pouch? What is this fancy? Uh, you, what is, is, what is, what's, the, what's the appropriate check for that? Is there, I think it's stealth. Is there stealth or stealing? Or stealth or thievery if there's one yeah. of those two. But the, if it looks like it's too crowded, a dead man in the middle, and there's people watching, he's not going to do it. You, you, you know, reaching in the pockets for cash... It might be kind of obvious. You might be able to lift some ammo from his belt or something. Yeah, he won't bother. Okay. Well, so one, one thing about Robert Harris is that he looks like he knows how to uh, get people to where they're going. He's, he's got uh, command and natural leader. Oh. So he's, uh, he's, he's used to being in charge. Nice. Okay. But not like that asshole who just left. <laughs> Josh, what are those cards there? Is that, is that a real card? That's, that's fake. quite handy. Which one? Are those fake cards there? And These two? Yes. Okay. I, just, I saw a heart. Like a heart. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Because I have Grim Servant to death, and my shooting is a four. Oh, I plan on not shooting a lot. All right, so. That's what I did. <laughs> Milt Hoys would be the. Uh, we'll, we'll call him oh, the, uh, the area marshal. Milt Hoys. Milt Hoys. County oh, sure, county sheriff. County, county, no, he's not. He's, he's the, the marshal. He, oh, he oversees numerous towns. Yeah, okay, live in this one. Um, Tell me. He, he he brings you guys into his office. He turns to uh, Dawson and he says, "You'll be hard pressed to get revenge in this area. Hill owns half this state almost some days. However, I know he's heading to Dodge City for the Kansas Scientific Symposium." There's a train leaving from Chicago in five days for the symposium. Many uh, inventors are looking for bodyguards. If you want a free ticket and maybe a little spending cash, it isn't a bad gig. Hmm. He'll, he'll likely be on a different train, but this will at least give you a chance to catch up to him. And out in Dodge City, where this thing ends, law ain't like it is around here. He's, he's uh, he works for a rail baron, right? Yes. So, uh, 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 uh Dawson, we may want to uh, encourage the other rail barons against him. That might be one way of helping you get your revenge. So. Yep. On me. Hey, man. Motherfucker. Uh, Motherfucker. Arizona, yeah, man. I'm real sorry on the loss of uh, your brother, was it? Yeah, that was my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. My older brother. I didn't have no brothers or sisters, but uh, I know that's got to be tough. He wasn't as good looking as you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true, but... You put a bullet in your head. You well, um, no, face. the face. No. Okay. For what it's worth, I, I at least did, I still left a good-looking corpse. For what it's worth, I, I did what I could to help him in that fight. Monk Fay pipes in. I appreciate that, there. Monk Fay pipes in. An unfair fight has become my battle with you. Because you know they saw you do so much. The, who, who are you talking to? <laughs> I speak drunken 
All around. What do you mean there, China Man? That Ch you China Man, why don't you go back inside and sit down? Are you picking a fight with the brother now? I have quarry with all will follow to death. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the one thing I know for sure, he does not have any quarrel with that bottle of beer. He was at first. His first one to hit. I'd like to whack him over the head with that bottle and knock some sense into him. No, I think, I think he's trying to offer his condolences in his own way. He speaks a little funny. I think I understand what he's saying. I think it's broken the, the translation. Yeah. So, are, are you saying you were with him? I don't know. He may be able to break boards, but can he stop lead? Virginity like bubble. One prick. All gone. <laughs> what? You gotta save some, man. You got a long, you got a whole campaign to go through. The rule was, if he's gonna play this, he has to have at least one saying a night. <laughs> the total rule I gave him. How many you got? <laughs> Are you going to the room? He's got pages. Oh my god. <laughs> man who fired in church. Sitting man all in the room. What's your name, all John wrong. Man? Man with four balls, no can walk. Won't stay home, eh? At your service. All right. All right, so it looks like you guys might be having a... Looks like you might be getting together some of the posse for a little revenge here. He turns to a warren. I don't believe that I'm in favor of any revenge. I don't particularly like seeing an unfair fight such as this, but revenge is not Turning Turning to a warren. However, you said something about money. I could use some more of that. Well, turn the war and he says, uh, I recognize him as a lawman when I see him. I'm asking you for two favors. One personal and one professional. Personally, escort this man to Chicago and get him on that train. Why? Let's just say he's not the only one to dislike our friend Mr. Hill. Professionally, there's a small town between here and Chicago, Eastman's Creek. They sent me a telegram a week or so ago regarding a murder. I haven't been able to get there to check on them. Would you mind stopping in and looking around? Well, I reckon my, my favors will cost you about two bucks a piece. Otherwise, uh, I think you got your law abiding man to take care of this job for you. Take care of these kitties. He is fine. Make sure you eat well at Eastman Street. I'll go with them if you pay my right way. Train ride will be for free if you can sign on to be a bodyguard. I'm not paying anybody else. He's a fellow lawman. I recognize that he's helped me out in a pinch. You but guys are tight along. To, you, 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 do you know anything about this symposium thing? You look like a man who knows how to play with some toys. I do. I know, I, know, I know about some of these gadgets. You know anything about anything, boy? I know a little bit about a little bit. <laughs> now you talk like me. <laughs> Very cool. I know a little bit like little bit. Cool. Have you been doing the drunken <laughs> drunken drunken Chinaman? They got friendlier casinos out there where they don't shoot a man over two dollars? It all depends who you're playing with. Hmm. So, what well, can you tell me about this uh East Eastman Creek? Like how many how many people in this town? Ah, uh, it's a small town. Compared to this. Bigger, smaller? It's probably 15, 20 families. Oh, okay. They, 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 they probably got about 8, 10 families in town, and they service, you know, 8, 10 ranches in the area. Oh, so it's, it's a real uh, frontier town, huh? Who knows what might be going on there? It sounds interesting. I'd go see that. What's your name, man? Robert. Robert Harris. Robert, Arizona. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, where, and where are you from, Arizona? I'm from... Well, if you got to figure that out, my friend, <laughs> you and I are going to be good friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is Washington from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tex. I'm from Maine. <laughs> My name is Wong Fei. I'm from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Disneyland, you know. All right, so you all going to take along then? I guess so. I'd sure like to get a drink first, though. I just got here. Get a bottle for the train. Hmm. Maybe maybe wow, a, maybe, money, maybe maybe a new friend who's just lost his brother to buy the first round for y'all. Hmm. Until we make sure he can get the the Chai Town safe. Do we have to go through Chicago? The plane the train goes out of Chicago. Liquor. I don't where think it's where, where is Chicago to Dodge, man? Were you paying attention? Apparently not. Can I meet up with you guys outside Chicago? I was just say, aren't we in Chicago? No, we're north of Chicago, a few days north of Chicago. So we're in the middle of the lake. On the way to Milwaukee. Uh, <laughs> Northwest. What I'm looking for the good land. 
All right, so let me get this straight. You're hiring that lawman over there to get out to Dodge to no. escort some man to Chicago. Excuse no. me, you're escorting some man to Chicago? I'm asking him for two things. Yeah. One, to, uh, to escort this man to Chicago, yep. to see, make sure he gets to the train station, see if he can get out there and find a better way to deal with Mr. Hill, where he may not have so many friends in close places, high places. Oh, second oh, so thing you mean I'm, like shoot him in the back? The second thing I'm asking is for him to stop in at Eastman's Creek. Just make sure that uh, nothing fishy is going on. Might I ask what your query with this man is? Quarrel? Query? Uh, I'm from China. <laughs> <laughs> I think he means squirrel. Squirrel? Let's just no, say I used to have a brother too. Dog. Squirrels Gooder. are back east. <laughs> Very good. Let's just say I used to have oh, a brother yeah. too. I had the best freaking um, hindrance on that guy, too. Hey, you know, I think we all want to help you out. We all know the pain of losing a brother. It's uh, very challenging. You know, something like this, we might need some sort of travel expenses. Make sure we get there in one piece. You know what I'm talking about? Can you help us out? It's two days. You're going to leave here? You're going to Eastman's Creek? Where they're going to put you up? I'll, make, I'll give you a note of that, and then you're in Chicago the next day. Maybe even give us some extra ammo. You never know. You're going to need another bullet. I'll buy that first round of the saloon before you leave. All right. Now we're talking about them. I'll take a double. So that was, uh, that was this man's brother who no. died? No, he just... Oh, no. I mean, Mike, I can't, I can't Dwight Dawson. Oh. Dawson's, Dawson's brother? Dawson's brother was killed, yes. I know. Uh, so you lost your family, huh? I, I can go to Chicago for that, I guess. You know, but I will not... I just... Hopefully we can stay on the train. That's a short transfer, I hope. I do not want to go into the city. But I'll do it for I'll I'll do it to help somebody who's lost family. You're an awful nice guy, aren't you? Ooh, don't time. mention it. Huh. You know what killed that man? It wasn't a bullet. No, sir, my friends. It was a king of hearts. King of hearts killed that man. I believe it was two kings of hearts in the same hand. That's true. Hey son, I can't help but notice that you're awfully apprehensive to go into the city of Chicago. I don't know. It's not just Chicago. Yeah. Heard it's a jungle in there. The concrete jungle. <laughs> you know, concrete hasn't been invented yet. 20, year, 20 years too early. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the city was burnt down two years ago. That darn cow. <laughs> Alright, let's get on the train. Chicago? I thought it was Boston. No, no. Chicago Fire. Ah. Myrtle? 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 Right, and so the one in any cows. city with all those people, just, it's not for me. I like the uh, open air. All right, so my suggestion is you, you grab, grab a little, grab a little oh, shot. No, I already did that. Grab a oh, meal. Wait, no, I, didn't. I got lubed up with the sand. I, told them I, can't I, would, I, would, I wouldn't spend the night in those rooms. I go sleep out on the range because those rooms got some stuff growing in there. Mm. Just leave it at that. Like they say, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. You should be in, if you let us out early in the morning, you should be in East Bend's Creek late in the day. What do you know about those two ladies at that saloon? I heard there's something growing out of them. Oh, man. So name the kind of woman you want to take home the mother. Uh, let right. me say, man who fishes in another man's well, going to catch crabs. I think those ladies are every man's well. <laughs> You're kind of a funny guy, aren't you? Well, you city slippers there. I got a camp set up about half a mile outside over the ridge. You're welcome to join me for the night if you want. What's your name, Marshall? Warren. 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 My friends call me Warren. You can call me Sheriff. All right, Sheriff. Sure. your last name, Peace. Warren Peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's catchy. That's catchy, Chinaman. That's real catchy. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for, uh, for roughing it a little bit, Sheriff, if you don't mind. Chinaman, that sounds like that should be a book. Uh, <laughs> maybe one day. Call right. it Confucius. No, I, I, think think you, I, I, think just, I don't think anybody else... Around us could be more Confucius than what you got us right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see so you. Like, we bought we 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 a couple of bottles of liquor and China and China. Sure, yeah. 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 sure this just the uh, we put the nickels in his eyes. Milk promises to take care of the body since you're doing it. You're doing him a favor, kind of by stopping off. So take care of the body, make sure it gets a proper burial. Put a bullet in its head, chop off its head. It's already got a bullet in its head. Good, okay. And pretty boy over there can want to come back. Take the protection. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. You got, you got a few more rounds there, don't you, son? I got plenty of rounds there, copper. Okay. Copper. <laughs>
So you get your meal, you get your drink. Arizona raises a shot glass and says, To Dwight, I've known better poker players, but he was a brave son of a bitch. And he drinks. Hey, Mike, I want to test something just for a minute. He was the dumb son of a bitch. It's Benny Hill? Good job. Mike. Mike. Okay, so I, I hear the piano playing. You hear us? Um, I can hear you. You got to lower it? Are we broken up or is it too loud or anything? Nope, you're okay now, but you're a little bit lower, obviously, because I have headphones on, so it's right in my ears. You got to lower the... Yeah, okay, so, so if I play the music through roll 20, it doesn't break up for him. Yeah, no, it does not. You have to be very careful if that music is too loud. It, it competes with the voices, even if it sounds like it's good. Yeah, it's really loud. Yeah, but Mike, oh, yeah. Mike can tell you. Well, what's that Chris? I couldn't hear you with the music. Oh. Yeah. So, all right, so you you head out to the uh, you got your camp, okay. and uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I came here. Wide open air, and I don't think I've ever quite seen this part of the country before. This is a beautiful land. Arizona looks at Robert strangely and tilts his head. Are you meaning to tell me that you prefer a bedroll on hard ground to the warm embrace of a woman in a cotton, nice, fluffy bed? Well, I got no problems with the embrace of a woman, but I'd be surprised if you could find a nice cotton, fluffy bed in that town. Well, it depends on the woman. <laughs> <laughs> depends on the price. Your name were Trey, is that right? Trey, right, yeah. Trey, you play, you play poker, Trey? Well, I'm not a big man, man. I'm going to have to teach you how to play poker someday. That's just the type of person I like. Walk to bed as I play bed roll. I was laid down. All right, well, I was actually going to give a, uh, we're going to do an interlude now, Ooh. where you were allowed to tell a, a brief one to two minute story about your character, okay. whether it be their backstory, whether it be their... Um, a tragic event, a happy event, any any kind of thing. If if the first person starts talking about a bad thing, and the next person wants to commiserate and say a bad thing, that's fine. You know, bad thing happened to me. Bad thing happened. You know, it was like you're competing about the worst time I got oh, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so so I was walking patrol on his wall and hey. uh, it's, it's <laughs> obviously this is kind of this is kind of like the scene on the boat in Jaws. My <laughs> fair yes, yep. lady. Yep. Dawson Dawson is obviously allowed to. Uh, be deep within himself and not participate if he wants to, you know, mourn his brother or he's welcome to be all loaded up and talk all he wants. Mike, I will give you the option to go first, last, or any time you'd like since you lost your brother. And if not, I'll, I'll roll a d6 to determine who was first. <clears throat> Fucking Christ almighty. Right. Uh, Josh, one, one of the things, I, I didn't realize we were leaving so quick. One of the things I wanted to tell you was before we walked out of the saloon, I wanted to uh, get two bottles of whiskey. Okay. That would be uh, three bucks a piece. So... I forget. I thought there were five. Well, whatever. That's it's fun. not the best whiskey. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't cinnamon whiskey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, we're Irish. Well, you can go to Tennessee and buy a $5 I used to be Irish and today. you are Irish. All right, so, Mike, are you going like first, or do you want to pass and see, let us know talk? They give it to you. Uh, I, just, uh, I just tell the group. I, I take the bottle. I sit it down in the middle of the campfire. Well, not in the campfire, but around the campfire. <laughs> I'm just putting the bottle in the campfire would be counterproductive. Pass it around the campfire. Um, I, I, yeah, I passed the bottle around. I said, yes, sir. gentlemen, I appreciate, I appreciate y'all coming with me the uh, on this little quest here and uh, you know, helping to avenge my brother's death. He was, uh, he was a good man, not always the smartest, apparently, when it came to gambling. Um, <laughs> I'm sure my dad won't be too upset. I was the favorite anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can I play my own ghost now? Man, you are cold, being, cold hearted. Being the better, being the better looking one and all, but he was on age. We'll, uh, we'll just leave it at the war. We'll just leave it at that, and uh, I'll, I'll take first watch. You guys, you guys enjoy the whiskey, and uh, I'll be right here keeping an eye out. All right, Jeff, you want to go, or anybody, anybody want to go first? Uh, you know, uh, I understand. I understand how it is to lose a close loved one. I, I recently lost my father and my granddaddy. <laughs> the two people that I, that I lived with and worked with every day. See, that was a little weird. 
What, the laughing or the Jeff loses his dad or train dad? Um, both. <laughs> you have anything else to add to that? No, if anybody doesn't have any questions, I'm all set. What did he say? He lost his dad and oh. with granddad. my granddad. Oh. How did you lose your granddad? Put him down and forgot where to put him. Went He was under some stress and he didn't make it. And then within, within two days, my dad was dead. They said it was natural causes, but I don't believe him. Why don't you believe him? They're, uh, they're inventors, and uh, they're, they're coming on something, something pretty interesting. They're ready to leave the, the business they were working for. Who they work for, your Grampy and your Paul? They work for Smith and Robards. Really? Not many people work for them. That's a big establishment. Mm -hmm. Bigger than Mr. Hale's place, that's for sure. Hmm. So what about you, Warren? Are you an inventor? What's the... Warren's the dude over there. My name is Trey. Okay. Warren, what is that thing? Yeah, what's going that on with that? Is that an invention? This is what my daddy and granddaddy were working on, and I were working on. You're working on a shirt? It's, uh, it's nighttime? Yeah. I pull up the sleeve, and I, I turn some knobs, and all of a sudden, it's like, it gets light out. It's like, uh... Uh, like a lantern is, uh... Holy hell! Dude, you're now, on fire. That's a heck of a trick right there. I, you getting burned there? <laughs> I turn around and said, I used to travel with this woman named Lenia once, and she had this <laughs> awesome campsite thing that she could just whip right out. Oh, oh my god, I forgot all about that! <laughs> <laughs> that reference to her old <laughs> yeah. And I turn, I turn it back off. Yeah, new guy. That's a heck of a thing. That's that's only that's only the start of it. The yeah. uh, my granddaddy, he was uh, he was against the South in the war. As it should my, be. My family uh, sold to both sides. Mm. So my daddy and granddaddy were ready to leave, and then within a week they were both dead. You got any theories? What happened? I don't trust my family, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's bad blood there. I think so. Oh, that's interesting. What other tricks can that thing do? I'm working on it. Oh, work in progress. Work in progress. Oh. No, I don't know what <laughs> Would it involve ghost rock? It does. And all those uh, dang fangled contraptions do. It's a very powerful substance. Heard very, about that. Very powerful, very dangerous, very corrupt. How is it? Thank you, Captain Obvious. How is a rock corrupt? You don't know about no ghost rock? Who I know about rock? ghost rock, but it maybe causes corruption. I've seen plenty of corruption in my day. Many a person died gotta get out of that southern accent. mining ghost rock. I don't think that's the fault of the ghost rock. That's the fault of the idiots down in the the, the, the valley out there mining it. I would love to see the valley. Oh, yeah. Nice place to visit. I don't think I'd want to live there. The valley like hell. Very hot. Mike, can you hear us? My uh, yes. the granddaddy was ready to go over to Hellstrom. I think that's why they, uh, they got to him. Mm. My old family. So do you think your family took him out, or do you think the company took him out? I think my family, family my company. family company took him out. <laughs> Got it. Your family company? Yeah, my last name was Robards. Like the Robards? You were, you are related to the Robards. Yes, yeah, so I'm Flipper Robards the third. What? That's the why they call me Trey. Oh, for the three. That's a French word. It means three. Oh, I'm more familiar with Dutch. What the hell? You could be living back out in Utah, or wherever their office is. And you could be living fine dining, women, wine, whiskey every night, and you're out here? That's, that's where we raise a little problem. Whiskey I look over at Warren. This was a prototype that my granddaddy was working on. 
I, I fell down from my granddaddy and my daddy were both killed by my cousin. This is the least they owed me. Mm. So you're saying you stole that? It was in our possession, and I took it. I'm with you there. That's not stealing, my friend. That was his by right. I'm not saying he did anything wrong. I'm just saying that your cousins might come looking for it. How much did you say something like that is worth? Ballpark. Worth a lot. It could be worth a lot. Again, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to iron out the uh, kinks. I'm trying to iron out the kinks. Oh, oh, there's kinks. There's other things that I can do, but I haven't, I haven't got them down pat yet. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hmm. So, by joining us, there's a good chance that your family's going to come, think that we're friends of yours, and attack us. They're better not come and shoot. Oh, shit, so from Kansas? We're kind of far from Kansas right now. Dodge City's in Kansas. You know that, right? <clears throat> We're just outside of Chicago. We're going to Dodge City. We're three, two or three days north of Chicago. Longface speaks. Long, Longface speaks up. Do you know how they mine Ghost Rock? With a pick and a shovel. On the backs of many men and many women. Slaves are these people. I'd lost my mother to the ghost rock mining. Was your mother a slave? We were all slaves. You're not a slave. How'd you get out? Through the railroad. I worked for them building tracks across America. <laughs> were you holding hands while you were doing this? This was no fun, my friend. Hug it out, hug it out. We all have skeletons in our closet, which we must address. I have a cross to bear, and I will find revenge. Wait, I thought you were Buddhist. Now you're saying that you're Lutheran? Correct. <laughs> Many skeletons with crosses. <laughs> so you got a bone to pick with someone. Who's the person you got a bone to pick? We shall see. That information is mine and mine only. Oh. All right. When the time is right, I will tell... And it would all become clear. You're like a bad weatherman. You tell us the truth when the weather when it's raining on you. But you can't really tell us much a couple days huh. before, huh? He swigs back in his liquor right. and he goes into his sayings. Man who walked through railroad turnstile sideways going to Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> As he, te as he teeters over and slumps into a almost <laughs> drunken super. Can you believe this guy over here? <coughs> no. That's something. Marshall, what's your story? I remember one one time, one night, when I had been cock. <laughs> you a cock? Well, no, no, do not feel stuff? obligated to tell your whole backstory, part of your backstory. Say whatever you want. This isn't meant to be a, an excuse to tell your backstory. This is just a... There's more you guys got the road over here. Don't know that road over there, over the ridge, will take you down to <coughs> Galena, Illinois. I spent a couple years down there working with none other than the number one general of the United States Army, Ulysses S. Grant, the President of the United States. We are like this. You and the president? That's right. Of the union? That's right. Really? He must have worked really good on his contacts. <laughs> I heard. That's, a, that's another reason just not to mess. Not to mess with me. Hmm. If you don't end up with lead in your head. Blowing a lot of smoke up our skirts. Good old U.S. Grant and his his cavalry will make sure that I never he done is, is uh, avenged. I never met a president before. What's he like, that you, you miss his ass gray? Tall. Beard. Hmm. Oh, you short? Beard. I taught him everything he knows about horses. Hmm. He knows a lot about horses? Does he use a lot of that as president? <laughs> as general. Hmm. Boy, you weren't. You were still in diapers when he was uh, leading the country. My parents couldn't afford diapers. 
I'm just twinkling your dad's eye. <laughs> Boy, how do you expect to invent anything? Your, you family, any brains your family was rich and you couldn't afford diapers. <laughs> diapers are damn expensive. <laughs> they were working out inventing them. <laughs> I lost a few brothers. <laughs> so that means you lived out east. How'd you get up here in Chicago? I've uh, traveled a bit as the U.S. Marshal, as assigned by by Secretary Seward. You on a mission right now? You collecting a bounty? That's uh, uh that's my business. We'll just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sheriff, have you, you're in good hands. If you if you all watch yourself. Sheriff, where are you from originally? Don't get honorary. Hmm. I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio. You poor bastard. Well, friends, we have here someone who is a uh, heir to the entire Robido Empire. But we also have another man who's best friends with Ulysses S. Grant, and I am a close personal roommate cousin of President Davis of the Confederate State. Yeah. So we are just full of people who are that lousy yellow belly traitor. Oh, I don't like him much. Either. I wouldn't. Don't, wouldn't He's not a so. good roommate either. I'll tell you that. He always needs stuff lying about. Roommate? Oh, I'm just screwing with you. No, hey, I'm not sure. What's your story, Slick? Name's Arizona. I like to put gamble. That's about all there is to it. I have good days. I have bad days. Today was a bad day, but I'm still alive. So what I can't. What takes you out here? I heard they had good gambling tables out here. I heard it wrong. You got so far. What about you, Easty? What are you from New York? <laughs> I am actually originally. Um, don't have anything there now. Uh, you know, you were you were right, Warren Sheriff, about uh, me not wanting to go to Chicago or any other big city. The second city? You're scared of it? I don't like any city. I had a, a family one time in New York. I had a son. I had a wife, and they were uh, they were killed in New York City. Sorry to hear that. You, you and sixty thousand other city slickers every year. Yeah, well, how they just kill? Well, cholera? Well, no, no, nothing like that. <clears throat> uh, but it was, I, by a streetcar. I wanted to. They, 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 it was called Desire, actually. It was a strange name. Oh, murder! <laughs> I just uh, after after they died, I couldn't take it. And I, I took up and left, and I just. Uh, I just came out here to see what I could see, and I just uh, don't have any reason ever to go to any city for as long as I can ever help. So you're basically telling us that you are an unemployed vagrant who is wandering around, and this is the best offer you've had in days. Well, no, I'm not entirely unemployed. I do some writing. I, I, I was, I was going to be a novelist. Really? Yeah, I had a, uh, I had, I had a story that it was. Uh, that I was working on, I got in advance on it. That's how I got out here. It was worth that money. What sort of story did you read? Uh, it was a, uh, it was an adventure story. Actually, it was uh, about uh, uh, an Indian who uh, was, uh, uh, you know, was, was, he was lost from his tribe in a raid. Have you ever met an Indian? Oh yeah. Well, I've heard of them. You know, I mean, there's stories about them. They live up, up, up the Hudson. You get no, we don't really get him in the city, but uh, it was a story. He was raised. He was he was lost. And he was raised by uh, by white folks on the uh, in the New York frontier uh, along the Hudson, and then he was supposed to, you know, he found his way back to his his tribe, and they didn't accept him. And it, it was going to be a great story, but uh, it kind of it never came together. It was never published. But I, uh, you know, every now and again, I do write some stories for the newspapers around here about the things that I see. Mostly, uh, you know, I, I write descriptions of. Uh, I like to see new and interesting things, and I, I write about them, and sometimes I can sell them to, to some of the papers who are looking to fill some space. And that's how I get by nowadays. So you're what a kind of skills you got? You know, I'm not really a newsman. I mean, I've written on news, but hey, more prose. You better hope that and pretty boy watches us all are pretty good to tell It's freelance. Come and cut your throat. <laughs> you know, was check, check your shoe. Cause I smell bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I I, uh, I just I you know I make my money that way, and I uh, I take spe I, I lead expeditions out to just see the country. Huh. How's that working out for you? Yeah, not, not so good. I got a lot of supplies and, and a lot of money, 
And I got nobody to go do things and, and Tough life, do all that stuff. He's well, kind of like a very lonely man, I have to say. Well, hey, we're on an adventure right you now. Know, I usually, usually tell a good story. <laughs> we're on an adventure right now. That's, that's right about. I do, I do appreciate the company, and I do, you know, do appreciate the uh, the experience. I'll drink to that. Raises his glass. It's a good company, good so adventure, get used to this. and keep it alive. Toss his back. Dawson, you got anything you want Amen to add to, to that? His green room was so freaky. Dawson! Dawson, oh, you got anything you want to add? You want to call oh, you're you still there, my friend. Yeah, no, I'm still here. No, I, uh, I mean, uh, so basically I'll give you guys a little background, a little bit about my brother. He was, uh, he went, uh, he was back east for a little bit. He uh, was working for a private agency. Um, unfortunately, you know, he is uh, no longer with us. Um, it was a shame because he was the smart one. But that's about all I could say. My smarts was a <laughs> I don't, I don't intend so to I insult you, but right now, Dawson, was it? You seem like you're the smart one. Well, I, I, I spent a little bit more time with my, with my family. My brother went, went back east mostly, but so my, my family. My, my dad was a prospector. He married an Indian woman, so I've got some connections to the Indian reservation. Or not really reservation, more like the territory. Reservation is probably an incorrect term. Um, and I spent a lot of my childhood growing up around the, around my mother's my mother's people uh, with my dad, <laughs> and uh, learned an awful lot about uh, their ways, particularly uh, their ability to track and scout and you know do things like that. And my brother's the one who taught me all about shooting and and uh, how to you know find out what was going on in an area and how to talk to people and stuff like that. But otherwise. You know, pretty much uh, at this point, uh, that Mr. Hill is going to go under. Hill. Mm. Uh -oh. There you go, Chinaman. There's a funny one for you. He's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom. The <laughs> you notice the Chinaman stepped out to the creek and he's relieving. He's yeah. behind the creek. Yeah. It's okay to do that by yourself and it's not a zombie apocalypse, so it's okay you to go behind the creek by yourself. <laughs> for now. That Dawson, you better be careful there. You don't want to spread the story that your dad was a was a uh, you know, in love with the, those savage girls. That's not going to go over too well when you get down to the Dodge City area. You might want to keep. Listen here, lawman. Don't you tell me anything about what I should say and what I shouldn't say. I've been around these parts a long time, 26 years now. I've been in and out of Dodge City and all these other places. And I think your brother pretty well too, huh? He didn't get very far. My brother may have, been, may have been run his mouth a little bit more than, than most, but you don't have to worry about that with me. Uh, you just watch your you just watch your own back, law man. I got mine. So glad we're all getting along like a big happy family right now. <laughs> really, it just makes my heart feel all kind of warm and tingly. You know, for a law man, he didn't do much but sit down and watch as my brother was gunned down. So, right, wrong, or indifferent, he might have not have been the smartest person, and he did instigate it, but. As a lawman, you guys could have stepped in. Oh, I'm still breathing here. I think that's pretty smart. <laughs> yep, you're breathing for now, lawman. Oh, is that a threat? You know, you are right about that, Dawson. It's very strange. We had three lawmen at that shootout. None of them mm -hmm. were armed to do anything. Not one of them. That ain't my jersey. Well, who's the I, I ain't got much use for the law. They ain't done much around our parts. All you guys do normally is come in and clean up the mess. You don't really do anything to prevent it. Well, no, that was, there's, there's only one sheriff marshal guy. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. I thought there were two. No, no, no. I thought there was a sheriff. No. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. No, just no. <laughs> All right, so. Anybody know anything about this East Brook that we're supposed to be headed to? I never heard of it. Looking forward to seeing it for the first time. Maybe I can have some music to sleep to. Oh, man. I don't yeah, know. You we see do that old twingy, twingy you kind see of music. Pretty little, handy with that. Old, uh, Sandman and the harmonica. Mr. Sandman. Well, man, you're not bad with that harmonica, I have to say. Not sure if I rightly agree with your view on the red man, but... 
You're pretty good with that harmonica. You know, you're entitled to think whatever you want, but you, you um, you'd be fooling yourself if you think that everybody else out there is as understanding as, well, we, as we, I am. We all know that the, 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 the savage is friendly advice. Pros that time. Mm -hmm. Good. So I learned. Put it in the shop. You know, to, to the savages and the Chinamen are not like us civilized people. You have to know this. You don't judge a card by its cover. Huh. I you think, I think you actually you do. <laughs> Not the red cover on the outside. You gotta flip it over. You I'm live out west. There ain't no difference. Black, white, red. General I'm red. not saying I have a problem with them. I'm all just saying they're not quite as human as us. That's all. For, 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 the, for the record, just, it's just a civilized point black? of view. No. Are any of you black? No. And, and, and okay. So just Chris is yellow. Mike is pink. <laughs> half, it is, half, it half white, half like Indian, half red. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I, I got it. I liked it. <laughs> and the rest of you just white boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be fine with those those yellow men. I, I don't, don't mind the half savages. savage. It's I don't mind those, the China men. They're just not quite It's those southern traitor us. bastards that, that I'm not going to put up with. I can't. I, I have to agree with you there, Sheriff. I don't know if I'm calling them traitor. Well, I just don't the understand their way of thinking. You taught them a thing or two. Well, you taught them so good that they still have their own country. I kind of can't deny that fact, unfortunately, but they just they just don't think they just don't think right. Well, tomorrow night, it's all Trey, fault. I'm going to teach you the joys of poker, my friend. So be prepared. Get some good sleep. You know, I have never gotten a good uh, handle on that game. Would you mind teaching me as well? Oh, two of you. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow night, we'll start a starter game. Like nickel ante, nice and easy, and I'll teach you everything you need to know about the sport. I'm going to make a pair. Yeah, the zone house. Hey, All right, so I think I'm going to turn in. I'll take second watch. Dawson, you can wake me up when uh, your time's up. More volunteers? Sounds good. I can take a watch if anybody needs it. I think we should all take turns on the watch. I appear too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you, got last watch. you got early watch. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would want me to watch. I wasn't going to see anything through them slanted eyes. <laughs> and the curtain comes down on that slanted eyes comment. <laughs> Fade to black, whatever you like to say. <laughs> Crickets, do <dude. laughs> That's true. All right. Um, the next stop, Eastman Creek, is, is a is a one sheet. So oh. it's designed to be played in a three to four hour session. Uh, Let's do it. So I don't know if you want to start it. Oh, or yeah. Or do you just want to wrap and we'll just play that whole, that, that'll probably take all next session. Okay, if you think it's going to take us all the next session, it's going to take us three. Why don't yeah. we get a little, why don't we make, start making a little headline? Oh, yeah, let's, let's do something. Auto. Let's get it going. Oh, so. Yeah. Oh, so. Uh, and I assume that uh, we regain our PowerPoints, those of us who spend. Yes, anybody who spent any PowerPoints, you wake up feeling refreshed. Right. And any chance I can get some fresh uh, fake chips, to, you know, burn through mine that don't be so damn fast? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'll take white ones. Just give me three white ones. You give me three whatever comes out. Not a heartless pass. <laughs> oh, look, you got a blue one. <laughs> oh, well done, man. I think this is what I had before. I'm almost sorry about killing you. Yeah, you know you're not. You've been dying to do this for <laughs> five years. That's the first time I've seen somebody die. That he actually took it really well. He's no, you, really you saw well. Bob die. Did I? What's oh, that? I did. Running towards you. You're right. No, that's Jumping true. on that grenade? Yeah, I will never forget dying in the zombie apocalypse. Thanks. You're the only one. I was really just peeing, right. Mike. As soon as he gets back, we'll start off. So. And, uh, oh no, I think you died in a one-off that we had where you actually came back as a zombie. Yes, that was yours. I forgot about that I one. forgot about that one, too. I was not there. I tried to kill them. I made it really hard because I wanted a few zombies because they got extra powers. But these guys were too clever. And only at the end, right, did you drop out? It was right, but it was before. It was to get into the last place. That means you three, right? Yeah. The other 12. <laughs> There's two left. I had. I, I drank two. I had one. I, well, I had half of Jeff's, then I had a Blackberry, and then I had another uh, Angry. Angry Orchard. I didn't know what Josh was doing with uh, Adam. I don't know if yeah. like, Ad, it was yeah, going to be a dream sequence that. or you were going to come back. I was waiting for a, you're hurt really bad, but you're not dead. Sure, like, the well, the well, cavalry well, comes in. Well done. Or who knows, maybe you die and then you came I have to play the part. As, That's true. It is a weird west. I don't know. I'm in care of Have you read up on that? Yeah. Stuff? I Must purposely be. have not, so I, I don't saw know what to expect. I saw the powers list, and I know there's a power that I left early. Do something. I had another tin full of the uh, quiche. quiches in the York. 
Oh, that's your breakfast lunch today. But I don't know how you would have beat Silas. I mean, we gave you a few extra advantages, but that guy was... Yeah, apparently we weren't supposed to beat him, and I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I did. <laughs> My first time fireball. Why didn't you yeah. tell me? I tried to warn you. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole, there's lots of people, you will not win. Remember that? <laughs> there, was actually, there was actually a point where I told you this was a bad idea twice. Yes. You did tell him that, Mike. Yeah, you did, Mike. <laughs> so I, did it, was it going to take, we need a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah, I could have went there, Shark Week. <laughs> all right. For so, all these, you know what? Quint died too. For all the Brits watching. <laughs> the British people love Shark Week? No, they don't know what it is, so I'm just informing them. Oh, okay. Yes. Google. Shark Week Discovery Channel, watch it. Make it down. All right, so. Uh, the they better be sending us checks. Oh, is there any channel? chance I can earn back one? Yeah. Benny? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you die when I wasn't looking? <laughs> no, but I wasted two trying to help you out. <laughs> did you Near die when I wasn't looking? <laughs> Near dusk, the posse. I thought I'm upset about it or anything. By the way, you guys are you guys from henceforth referred to as the posse. Oh, that's the, uh, oh. the group or the... Hence the way I'm, I'm the marshal. You're the posse. Gotcha. <laughs> what was the marshal's last name? Who sent us? Oh, that was uh, Miles Hoyt. 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 Holt Posse or Miles Posse? Just posse. the posse. Wong Fei has trouble saying... Posse. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out really wrong. Really wrong? Really wrong? <laughs> really wrong? You can't be right if you're wrong. <laughs> and you, sir, are the most wrong person I know. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm very wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Video got it. Video got it. It's okay. <laughs> I've done a lot of research on this character. Well, we lost Mikey for a second. <laughs> Like, he's he's, so or is he he's, he's nothing the, silly in a corner. He's, he's waiting in the green room. It's <laughs> <laughs> like corner will be green and yellow. Uh, all right, ready, Mikey? Yep. All right, so near dusk, the posse rides into the small town of Eastman's Creek. Yeah. What, wait a minute, what are we riding? You walk in. Okay. We ride the iron horse. Yes. No, you walk. Uh, I the thought the train went there. No, you're walking. you got to walk to the train in Chicago. Yeah. Train runs out of Chicago to Dodge. Chicago. Okay. Chicago. The, street, the streets are deserted, although the town is still inhabited, judging by the twitching curtains. Uh, assume you head for the saloon. The town's only saloon has no customers, and it takes a few hollers to get served. And if you'll go... Uh, Adam sneezes once. <laughs> Adam, Adam, you can find I'm going to sneeze on you. The bartender. You might have to blow him up. Pear black bear. <laughs> That's Whoa, it. wait a minute. I've got some dynamite, but it's it, Jeff. Where's the bartender? What's it? Oh, bartender. Oh, bartender. Hello? I don't like Bob Pye. I have to, like, i got to move player. i got to scroll the bar somewhere on the player. Um, yeah, that's, it's kind of a pain. See, if I want to zoom in, I don't have my But you get yeah. used to it, Josh. Yeah. That doesn't make it good. What does that guy look like? Abraham Lincoln. Pages, then you got to kind of go Dude, happy. that was the baddest ass guy I could find for a bottle. Yes. He's no, badass. So uh, he. Uh, what? Or Samuel Morse. He knows how to serve milk in a dirty glass. Huh? Are we in Boston? Sam Adams? No. All right, so the. Uh, what do you guys want? You can tell he looks pretty nervous. What's been going on in the city, in the town here? You can start off by getting me a whiskey, please. Where's your money? There you go. Give him a dollar. A dollar, I'll take one of them, too. <laughs> Whatever the cost is. If you're buying, I'll have one. Ah, uh, never mind, okay. <laughs> so where's the sheriff hanging out? We ain't got no sheriff. Who's the, the, mar the marshal? Uh, the Miles there sometimes comes down and takes a little place again. Everything's going wrong, but he's been busy lately. Busy doing what? Got a, you got a bunch of towns he looks after. Anything going wrong lately? Yeah, we got some murders. No. Uh -huh. <gasps> really? Murder? Oh, damn it. He goes around my life. What do you mean by some murders? Chupacabra? About uh, <laughs> Chupacabra. two weeks ago, somebody, uh, something, smashed into a homestead during the night and dragged the, the, the couple, the husband and wife, out and uh, hung them up on a tree. Chupacabra. Oh, shit, I have heard such a story. And then uh, three nights later, an old rancher was dragged to his death. Same thing, hanging from a tree. Same tree. Like a noose? Yeah. So so they're locking their doors at And then about two nights ago, one more time. 
Was there any kind of footprints in the area? Horse prints? How many people would it take to have done this? That's at least a three-man job. Just take a man and his wife. You got one for the woman and two for the man. It, it, you know, they're not going to fight back. Any shots fired? Nope, nobody knows nothing. Though we spend a lot of time looking at it, we're all just scared now. Who's been buying all the rope in town? I came into town with a hundred feet. Just saying. <laughs> I see why they need you, Marshall. Marshall, huh? Anybody need to buy any more? Are we in your jurisdiction here, uh, Marshall Warren? Yeah, I, I've practiced law in this part of the country before. What is your jurisdiction, anyways, Marshall? Is there yeah. any, any suspicion? Can't really talk about people that. in town. Uh, we didn't see nobody new come in. Yeah. Secret. Secret project. Dark from the West Coast Is there any activity that's Reckon different in town? Go. People blabbing about what search, the searching searching around. People interesting. All right. National security. I the use my investigation come. skill to determine what phase the moon is in. Okay. It's in, ret I'm it's in retrograde. It's a new moon. Uh, there, there ain't been nobody new coming around town lately. If that's what you're asking. Anybody in town been acting strange? Everybody's, everybody's all tied up now. As soon as it starts to get dark out, closing our doors and locking up tight. Yeah, what about before the march? No. Not that what proximity do these people live? Are they How one far part outside of town are they? I think what you're saying is they're in one part of town. <laughs> nobody, nobody lives too far away. Well, I reckon we better get home before it starts. Yeah, what time of day is it? It was, it was uh, near dusk. Of course. Is there a place I think to we've stay? played this before. <laughs> Is there a place to stay? I think we're in it. You Is can see to stay here. Oh, thanks. 50 cents a night. Oh, whoa. 50 cents a room. All right, well, there's uh, seven beds in one room. <laughs> so back in the end days, you, you got a space in bed, not a bed in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take my own room. Oh, they died. They died from hanging. I said that. There was, so, so, so they, they, somebody let, the, well, you know, we just got to take a look because I can't imagine that there's, uh, there's got to be horse print all over the place to drag a man and his wife out of their house. There must you're you're welcome to go look at the house. I mean, the house, the ranches, the tree, whatever you want to do. Um, you got a lawman with you. Yeah. I'm hoping that, uh, yeah. well, that, that Miles well, sits well, down here to help us out. Yeah, yeah. That's, why, uh, that's why he said that you give us a room for a quarter apiece, but we provide you with all the protection you need, so you don't have to worry. Well, you're shaking me down? You want to be next one hanging hey, on, on that tree? Sheriff sure. Ward. Actually, he gave us a note that said you pay for our lodging flat out, right? Sheriff. <laughs> sure. Why don't we go on to that, to the, to the uh, homestead of the people who, uh, the husband or wife who got hung? Why, are you looking to get in trouble out there? You no, know, you stay there the night. You tired of living out there? Oh, some free room, huh? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man. This is a man with no scruples. <laughs> <laughs> you talking talk about the Talbots? That was a it was a couple. Cool. I'll, I'll tell you what. How do you, you get out there? Now? Since, since Miles sent sure. you, if you want to spend the night here and then go look at it in the morning, I, I think I think we can make an arrangement. Mm. Did, you, did, did you cut him down and bury him? Yeah. Did anybody so, else? Oh, you're going to leave that. Oh, God, no, I appreciate that. He did, he did the right thing. It's a good, good, uh, good Christian I mean, folk around It's getting dark right now, so I, I, I wouldn't send you back out there. So is the rope still up on the tree? What's left of the rope? Which cut? Took the rope, cut the rope all, the, all down to? Yeah. yeah I assume there's you know a lot of people. Is? It's with him. Uh, I assume there was a lot of people there that night or that day when you guys cut them down. Most of the, most of the people. Who found them? I, don't, I think all the tracks are... Uh, it was two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh. Well, what about more recently? It was like three nights in succession? It was two weeks ago. There was uh, three nights later, and then again two nights ago. So it's been basically three days since the last one. So we should look at the most recent one. Are there any railroad tracks that run close or to these houses? No, no, nothing like that out here. Have you guys found any ghost rock around here lately or anything? No, that's, that's, that's like, we ain't getting all that stuff around here. You know, there's strange things in these parts there, Barkeep. I think he just told us that. 
Well, I don't see how we can uh, do anything tonight. Let's get a good night's rest. And Who has not showered tonight? Because something smells fishy. All of us? Oh, I didn't well, they had First off, there's no showers. Second, <laughs> you'll have to excuse the child. I don't, think, I don't think any of us have bathed in a while. He gets a little strange every now and then. He is a... I, I, load, I load back on the cantina that I have. Ah, <laughs> uh, duck sauce is about the, the right of it, sir. That's right. But he makes some damn fine hot and sour soup. Yeah. How do you get sauce from a ah, duck? Back. Squeeze really boom. hard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the... Uh, what was that part? Someone spilled beer in an ashtray. <laughs> what kind of drunk do you think I am? What kind of food, what kind of food can we get around here? Get uh, some clothes now. I'll see if I can rusty up some cheese and bread. Friend, where can we get a steak here? Anyone? Nobody, I mean, the, nobody's going around here today much now. So who, who, who found these bodies? Various people. People all over have been here for years. I think the sheriff's going to want to talk to them. Isn't that right, sheriff? The sheriff's not in town, remember? He just told you marshal? What, He's talking to you. I mean, this isn't my jurisdiction. You just said to practice law around here. Are we investigating this or not? One time I did. Are we investigating this or not? You're the closest thing around here to an authority. Uh, I think it is in the best interest of these people in this town. And as good Christians, we can't just let this go. We just can't walk out of town. You want a good Christian, go find the preacher. That's not me. Well, I'm sure we can find the preacher. And I happen to be a good Christian, so... (laughs) Hey, is there a uh, reward for finding out who's doing these sorts of things? I think our reward should be doing our Christian duty and letting these people sleep peaceably in their beds at night. Well, that's awesome. And I'll see you, Roger. If you'd like to give me your half of the reward, I'd be very happy to take it. Then. Oh, I never said that. We, that's one half, two half, three half, four half. Is, is the reward of uh, $126. Oh, now you that's got it. already chipped in. Who's from the town? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we might be able to. Take a look for you. Yeah. I admire your noble intentions there, Marshal. That's very, very kind My of My job. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's fast for nothing. All right. All of a sudden, now there's money involved. You're willing to do your job? Hey, leave that man alone. He is a close personal friend of our president, Grant. I don't now, know about leave that man alone. got a wise mouth. And I man. believe you're from Arizona. <laughs> May I look at the back of that badge? Yeah, and see if it goes in yeah. you know, China. I, I want to I see if that badge says J.C. Penny on it. No, no. <laughs> made in China. <laughs> we run all of it. That was weird. That was good. <laughs> he should have 15 babies at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It, you say so. You're not going to need a lot. Babies he should have. have. <laughs> I'm not Yoda. So we, we have. take what little food we can get. <laughs> we, uh... We take our room, what we can get. And do we have a note that said we got room and board? Yeah, he hooks you up to a room. Okay. Marshall gets his own room. And board? Anyway, we're going to have to pay for the cheese and bread now, do we? It, 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 it ain't the best cheese and bread. A little hard, a little dry. Uh, it's, it's all blue par, cheese. Powerful course around here. That's hey, you know what? I hear the people who eat blue cheese don't ever get sick. That's true. <laughs> Not true. Uh, I think it might be wise if we put up a watch tonight. Just to make sure we're not the next on this long litany of. I'm victims. glad you volunteered there, Zona. Sign me up. I'll take first watch. I'll take fourth watch. I'll take first watch too. Uh, Wong Fei looks drunk and passes out in the corner. Are you ever not drunk, Wong Fei? <laughs> All right. Early in the morning. Uh, and that night, of you course, <laughs> drinks during the night. Arizona begins to teach you the rudimentary art of poker. Explaining that it is a thinking man's game. It is certainly not a game of chance, but a game of skill. And uh, he wallops you. You end up owing him each in a nickel game, about a buck. But he gives you the dollar back. How did Mr. Got our front. Dawson? Here's How did Mr. Hyatt? Wyatt? Calvin? Who? The Marshall? Then, the first guy who got led into the uh, killing out of Silas? How did, no, no, no Hill, his Mr. Boss. Hill. How did Mr. Hill win? Oh, well, that, that there's mm-hmm. more uh, advanced poker. We'll show you that next time. <laughs> you just start with the beginning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Give it up, Bob. That was great. <laughs> so you, got, you guys all sleep pretty poorly that night. Uh, 
Barkeep, I won't say he has a spook, but he certainly has a jump in it noises he normally wouldn't jump at. Guts check? Sure, give me a guts check. Oh, great. Yeah. I was kidding. <laughs> All of us? Yeah, everybody right. give me a guts check. <laughs> now, uh, I'd like to remind you, whatever your guts are, we all start with one grit. Oh, that's right, plus one to guts. So, what, however many grit you have, that's a plus to your to your guts. What's guts, man? I'm a, deep well, I'm, a I'm a grit one. So you're grit one. Are you trained in guts? No, I am trained. Okay, I got a five. So you're untrained. So it's a D4 minus two plus one. So it's a how D4 did you not take one. guts? I'm a, I'm a guts. D4. Uh, Excuse me. So did you read anything D4. about Deadlands? <laughs> And with a six die roll two? Yep, with a six die roll two. So you roll your, your D4 and your D6, you got and you two. add one, one to the D4. All right. To each one. To each one. Uh, Trey. Trey sleeps extremely poorly. Robert? That's you, Alex. <laughs> I got a five. Okay, so you succeed. You sleep okay, not well, but okay. S uh, seven. So it's fine. Wong Fei? Ditto. Seven. Warren? Seventeen. <laughs> oh, Orange seems like, like freaking dead. Well done. Dawson, what did you get for your guts check? Uh, I also got a 7. <laughs> Alright, so everybody sleeps well oh, except for Trey. Uh, He's not used to this kind of talk. Um, if you, you spend there, another night here and you fail your next guts check, and you sleep poorly, you'll level up my team, which is minus when all rolls. Alright. It's morning time. So it's, uh, it's morning time. I just want to talk about climbing. I mean, this is skill. Let's get some uh, eggs and grits. So I shouldn't have taken my boating and raised it? <laughs> boating? Boning? There's a boning skill? <laughs> boating and driving? I shouldn't have taken those two skills? Well, probably not. Well, he's probably going to invent a boat. And he's going to invent a car. Alright, so you guys wait to uh, an airboat. Oh. You, you wait to the smell of uh, bacon and eggs? I've got street ones. You know that means uh, it's like an alley ones. <laughs> You got some bacon and eggs for breakfast? All right. Coffee? The, uh, oh, black. Black. Yeah. Cowboy coffee. Cowboy coffee. Doesn't that uh, just mean you piss in the coffee pot? Oh, use eggs to bind the eggs. <laughs> so the, uh, the bartender comes back out and he tells you how the, uh, they did, you know, the, the, the townspeople did, uh, scour the countryside looking for anything when it first started happening. Nothing, they didn't find anything out of the ordinary. Um, Hi. no sign of anything. Hi. <laughs> you know, a sign of a gang or anything like that. Hmm. So they're really at a loss as to what's happening. Was there anything missing from the houses? Nothing was missing from the houses. Bodies don't have any marks on them other than around the neck. Okay, good. I'm not cheating. Good. Cheater. Are these houses in a particular area? No, they're all over town, kind of. Climbing's a six. But I'm good. Thank you. I kind of went the Bob route and just took a D4 in most everything. So, uh, yeah, we succeed. I had to take an eight in persuasion to meet, uh, Tail Teller. And, uh, alright, so. I got a six in climbing. Alright, so what's, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's your plan? And a six, and that's a six. In You're the investigator, son. Investigate. You're the lawman around here. What do lawmen do? Arrest people, hang people. There's no one to arrest or hang. So people already been hanged. Did you hang these people? Let's say we go. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start just walking around, seeing if I notice anything. You want to notice? Are we at the. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking. I'm looking for tracks. I'm looking for signs. I'm looking for no, no murders occurred for three days. Uh, the first one was two weeks ago. The second one was two nights later, and the most recent was three nights ago. Not the night. And okay. the, so. you mentioned the Talbots were a victim. Is the that Talbots right? were the first victim. Who were the, the latest? Tal husband and wife. We want to okay. look at the latest one. Um, the Talbot's house was damaged significantly during whatever happened. The other ones, not so much. I say we start with the Talbot's. See what's up with, with oh, their let's, take a, the ground, let's take a look at the grounds of the most recent We one. have all day long. Hey, uh, Barky, what's the weather been like the uh, past week or so? Got any rain? Yeah, got some rain, got some wind, got some hot. We got stuff to mess up some tracks. <laughs> got everything. We got a little everything. What about uh, three days? It's the latest murder. Have you had any snow? Wow, that was this trip. Not snow. We are pretty far north. <laughs> we haven't died. No, no, no rain in the past few days. Okay. A little bit of wind. No rain, though. I went to basketball camp the last week of June. Oh. And it snowed in uh, Pennsylvania, where we were. That's insane. Well, yeah. I think this is all because of the Icelandic volcano. We should go to Talbot's and buy some clothes. There's Talbot. There's the old rancher. And then there was another. It was, it was 92. What does it say? Uh, and then there was another one 
Uh, it doesn't really matter. We should confuse GM and split up. <laughs> That's fine, three. You'll be bored while I talk three. <laughs> what does it bother me? We go home early. <laughs> I'll say we do it in the order it happened. Hit Talbots and then move on to the next. I, I, I agree with you, Zona. Reverse chronological order would make Ari. sense. Get to the freshest murders first. No. We're going to get all, We're gonna get there tonight. Don't tell the guy from back east to actually Okay, we're going to tell All right, so you got to... No one's smarter than me. Uh, you go to Talbots. Did anybody notice the significance of the name Talbots, by the way? That's the name I picked out of the random. Oh, really? It's not in the book. They were uh, also a couple from the zombie campaign. And they had two kids. She you was pregnant. That wasn't Talbot. It was something. Oh, okay. Michael's rolling in damage. <laughs> He's been rolling for five minutes. <laughs> He's getting a lot of aces. <laughs> I raise you. All right, so you head to, you head to the Talbot. 300. And uh, 300. The, uh, Did I get him? Hmm? It's the house is in heaven. Damn it. Can you give, give me a notice check? I will. I'll do a, I got, I'll do a notice check. Yes. I'm so glad there's Ten. something to do with notice. Eleven. Gambler without notice. I didn't have enough points. Five. <laughs> What's no Yes. Yeah. Five. Man, I have not aced. No, I have not aced no. one. One die all night. Six. Was that before or after you got killed? It was One. before, actually. Okay. okay, so... Um, it was an attack roll, not a damage so, roll. So, Warren, oh. it's a house and the door's broken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad he sees a house. Trey and uh, Dawson um, take a look, and it really seems like it must have taken several men to, to, to damage the door this much. Really? To really smash it down, yeah. broke the frame. Um, really... Yeah, get a number on the door. Mm. Are there are there any parts of the door left, or is the door like just gone, ripped off? The it's frame been, or it's been ripped off the frames, broken in the house. Okay, so look, so they so they busted through the door into the house. Yes, I smell it. Okay, it smells like wood. Okay, oh, that's clever. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the scene is, is two weeks old, so if there were any tracks or anything, they've long since moved on. Yeah. Are the are the Talbots home? <laughs> there are no ghosts. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Everybody in the entire family was killed. Sure. First it was just a couple. Yeah. Sure. There's these piles of dirt in the back. Josh, I go out to the yard, pick up a handful of dust, dirt, yeah, and, I, and I walk back to the front door, and I lightly sprinkle the dust on the ground, seeing if there can tell if there's any footprints or. It's an it's little ancient Indian secret. <laughs> Your ancient Indian secret does not reveal anything you don't already know. That's fine, boy. Thank you, Gunk. Okay. But you didn't say ancient yeah, Chinese yeah. secret. What right. I found? Yeah. Well, there's nothing really uh, significant, I think. I don't see any signs of horses. Wong Fei says, these stupid men. Window, very easy to get into. But Chinaman has a point. <laughs> so we make a whole site less noise, too. So we don't see, like, uh, any tracks... Approaching the no, well, like I said, it's been over two weeks, yeah. and it's been there's been all sorts of weather. We could see if they came. Okay. Is the is the tree where they were hung uh, on their property? Is it close to their property? No, the tree is closer to town, and all of them were hung in the same tree. Right, right, right. That's why I was asking. So, the what, how, what's the distance from their house to that tree? Um, a couple miles. A couple miles. Okay. okay. Close. Hmm. Somebody didn't like the Talbots, I'll tell you that. Do we know anything about their political leanings? No. Did not. Got to talk to a living person to find that. I look, I do a notice check in their house. <laughs> you're, you're looking for like a, uh, a grant uh, campaign button. Hey, down with Davis. Looking for science and technology, looking for religious <laughs> items, looking for uh, political items. Typical Christian family. Um... Looks like they sided with the Union since all men are equal in their eyes. Um, since we're doing in territory. You know, the Bible. <laughs> there's, 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 you know, the pipe on, the, on, the, on top of the mantle. Because we're 800 miles north of the Mason Dixon line. Did they, have, did they have any kids? <laughs> no, it was, a new, it, was a, it was a couple. It was just the two of them. They had not had kids yet. Arizona is going to uh, 
check the inside of the house, and if there is anything that is small and valuable, uh, it might become his possession. Give me a notice check to find the place. Yep. Do we notice you uh, All grabbed you anything? I'm going to be looking. stealthy. I'm going to try to Everybody's looking notice. around. Seven. On your stealth or your notice? That was notice. Shall I roll stealth next? Uh, yes. See if anybody notices you being guilty. Alright. Can't tell you got no, 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 nothing in your sign. Is it, is it a pose bot? Should they be doing, doing the notice check? Oh, well, hang on. I just rolled two eights in a row. Three eights <laughs> in a row. I think you got away with it. <laughs> four eights in a row. And a seven plus two. So four eights is 32, plus seven is 39, plus two, 41. He found inside of the basement. I was going to say, okay, so you pulled the floorboards. Um, <laughs> dug a hole, found the buried treasure, <laughs> and nobody saw it, nobody saw it. <laughs> dug up through the ceiling. I got a big bass drum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you found nothing. No, uh, <laughs> found <laughs> the chainsaw. I would not be true to my character if I didn't do that. You, uh, you did find a, I guess a jar, or a metal, a, a, metal, a, metal, a small metal container with, uh, $43 in it. Wow, score. All right. Hidden away in a little crevice somewhere. Crevice. When he has a chance, and he actually it was in the coffee. It was in the coffee pot. What kind of money? Right he will, uh, ah, he'll, he'll drop that money into a into a pouch and, and lose the jar eventually. But um, uh, to your other question, I think the way Steven works is if they weren't they weren't actively noticing you, so I don't think that they were exactly. Yeah. But just to note for the future, you make your thieving check against the four. Right. Um, if you succeed, you get it, but. And then if now if somebody has a chance of actively looking out Whoops. in the future, and then it's a post notice check. So, huh? All right. So, anything else? Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the at the door. Does it look like it was uh, torn to shreds? Hammered it, it, ripped off the hinges, hammered torn into the, the shreds, middle, by I smashed in and ripped to shreds by by hammers. You, you have no idea. Was it claws? Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, it was ridiculously strong. It was no door. Is that crazy ghost rock involved in this one? No blast signs. Is it diamond iron? Diamond, but I mean, you know, was it, was it scrapes like a, like claws, yeah, yeah, like a wild animal, or was it like... You don't see any claw marks? Hammer, like, like, like round holes, like hammers, smooth... No, I mean, there's, there's some scuffs on it, certainly. You can't, you can't, I mean, it could have been somebody hitting it with a, a hammer or a wooden, oh, sti- oh. a big wooden stick or something, but it wasn't like anything... Animal or something like that. Anything knocked over in the house? Well, the, the, the front of the house where the door was is just destroyed from whatever. What about, what was there anything disturbed inside the house? Did they go straight to the bedroom? Did they have to look around? Can we tell? Uh, the, the table and chairs are kind of turned over. It, it, may, it may not have been a bed yet. It's hard to tell. It doesn't look like they robbed the place. Mm-hmm. See, in fact, the bed is still made. How's that? Mm-hmm. Looks like whoever was here wanted to get to them and not to their stuff. Maybe we should go check out the second place, gentlemen. Uh, I think we should. Uh, Doom 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 play, uh, I agree. Who wants to play? At the end of the house, I want to take a look at that tree. He just nibbled. Oh, yeah. That's a good thought, Robert. Anything in the basement? There's no basement. Don't look in the corner. Check the outhouse. Oh, what about the fruit cellar? Blair Witch. Yeah, oh, why not? My the cider cellar. We don't forget the outhouse. Ooh, I'm done. <laughs> of course, we'll just assume yeah. that we check that. Yeah, right. There's nothing thrilling in there. Yeah. <laughs> a little hole. It was a two-holer. Oh, fancy. Fancy for uh, two, pe- two folks. This hole up here. They, they loved each other a lot. <laughs> 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 so there was no separation? It was one one big... Two holes. Two, two holes, in, but so no... They, they weren't individualized. That's cute. <laughs> It was open between the shall we Shall we go to the next place? No stall. Is for the Holy Ghost. Is place number two the rancher's place? Yes. Uh, Hartwell Poster White. Poster White? Is a white? Poster White. Poster White. Wait, I don't know what a white is. I found a Western names to earlier. <laughs> so basically any kind of weird English name? Yeah. You got it. Um, <laughs> I'll do a little notice we'll check. The virus. Give, give me a notice check on your way. Four. No notice check on the curves, just the right. Nope. Nope. Fail. Three. Three. Four. You got a three and a half. Uh, eleven. Oh, Mikey. Hold on. Hold on. No. Fourteen? Seven. 
Seven. Oh, All right, so My, Mikey and Jeff think it's kind of unusually quiet. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Trey and Dawson think it's unusually quiet. Thank Robert you. Robert thinks it's downright silent. You don't notice. He doesn't notice any animals. Um, Crickets, no prairie dogs, no there's moths. Nothing. You know, there's no, no rabbits. Bugs. No nothing. That's pretty clever for a city guy. You're awfully observant. I agree, buddy. I, I, I think it might be wise for all of us to draw a weapon, perhaps. I've been around, well, maybe. I've been around a few years. I didn't just come from the city right out to uh, hmm. the wonderful saloon that we met in. Maybe you're more useful than I thought there, Robert. I certainly appreciate that. You're better at noticing stuff than you are gambling, I'll tell you that. Ain't that the truth? Uh, Arizona will uh, draw his trusty Lamette. Okay. Yeah, Robert does particularly not draw a gun. Okay. How far out are we from the ranch? Uh, I, I'd say that most of the, the three murders are more located on the one side of town. They're not, not three homesteads right next to each other, but they're, they're not diametrically opposed. Okay. Okay. What time of day is it? It's still morning? Yeah, you're still morning. So are like, we like a mile out from the ranch right now? You're a couple miles. I mean, everything is a couple few miles. I mean, it's a ranch. Okay. There's, you know, it's, your neighbors you don't see. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking in case we have to run for help if we get attacked for what's causing things to be quiet. How, how far would we have to run? Far. Okay. Yeah. So many, many rounds of running. Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> I'm a good runner. So is anybody else drawing a weapon or is it just Arizona? I got my hand on mine. Okay. Then we make our way to the ranch, I guess. Yeah. All right. So, so, at, so at any point, does the cricket sound of crickets return? No. Hmm. Okay. No, uh, no, little no, no, no varmints. No varmints. Hmm. <laughs> the trees seem to wrestle a little louder. What few trees there are. Spooky. It is kind of spooky. Um, spooky. What's that spooky. So Hartwell spooky. Coaster Waste Place. I love me some spooky. Um, <laughs> not me. nearly. What did you say about me? You love the fooky. Not nearly as damaged fooky. as the uh, well, as the Talbot the place. Is this place built sturdier? <coughs> no. Okay. It's, it's Was a, the first place built in hay, and the second one built in steel? <laughs> 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 no. Just checking. We're looking for a pack of wolves, my friends. Just one one. One wolf. One big, bad wolf. <laughs> it's a dire wolf, and it belongs to Ned Stark's kids. Anyway. Um, <laughs> What's the who? Ned Stark's kids. When anyway. first come. It's a Game of Thrones joke. Oh, okay. Bob and I get it. Sorry. Uh, well, maybe maybe yeah. somebody listening will get it. Thanks. If it's recording. <laughs> so, so you kill me and then you make fun of me. Thanks. I appreciate that. It's <laughs> a good night for me. <laughs> so, you don't even apologize. <laughs> I don't think you're getting the apology. No. I, I, I don't even know why I'm looking for one. It only took me years to kill. <laughs> so you get the Hartwell's place. Um, yeah, once again, this, 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 you know, the other one was two weeks. This was a couple days after two weeks. So it's 11... 12 days since it happened here. Yeah. Um, the place is, is broken into, but the damage isn't, isn't nearly as extensive. Not as many claw. No, no. I mean, I know there would be any in the dirt, but like, no, like, huge furrows. No. Okay. No. <laughs> hmm. uh, the door is not quite as. Uh, is the door. More like how, the door, how did they more get like the it kicked in? And there okay. were no survivors from this uh, place either, correct? Correct. All right. So. Should we divide up and search around the house? Let's see what we can find. Uh, do you want notice checks, Josh? Sure. I take I take like a uh, thirty foot radius from the house, going all the way around, just seeing if I see what kind of tracks I see. Well, don't forget, it's been I know, two weeks. Explosion. I don't see too much. Chris, what you got? I don't know that that is what we're noticing in this case. In this case, you're doing research for something. Oh. Okay. So you, you do the four plus the previous four value. Eight. And the three plus the previous three. One of these is your initial getting the notice. Mm -hmm. So you're 11. I, I got a four. I'm in the house. Mike? I have a six. Jeff? Yeah. I'm just happy to roll higher than Mike. But I'm outside the house. I'm, I'm around the outside. All right. Three. Yeah. Arizona got a one. Okay, so Arizona notices there's a house. That never gets old. Hey, guys, did you see that? I think this is their house. Where the hell did this come from? There's a house out here. Look, their name is on the mailbox. Uh, <laughs> there's a mailbox? Well, Dawson, were you in or outside? Uh, Dawson is going to head inside then. 
Okay, so Dawson, search inside. Where's your search? Yep. Whatever, two. Uh, inside, maybe. Okay, so you're both inside looking around, and you notice, like, the rifle still uh, on, on the sh mounted on the wall, uh -huh. whatever whatever it was, you know, surprised it, surprised him, and he never even got a chance to get to his weapon. Is it a nice-looking rifle? No, it's kind of, kind of beat up and worn up. It's kind of like a family heirloom. No signs of struggle makes you wonder if maybe uh, either they got surprised or it were someone that they knew who they let into the house. Or they, they let kick down the door? Let's, you know, wh where, where, where's his, where's his bedroom? Oh, no. It's just one room. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm asking, is it one room, two rooms, three rooms? Is there, is there a bed? It's your camping room in, the uh, main. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, yep. there's a little pot belly stove, a small, small kitchen, you know, one little countertop area, mm -hmm. um, a, a small bed, a small table. Oh, so this is one person, huh? Yeah. Is the bed made? No. But it, would you make your bed if you were a single rancher? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm married out of my bed. It's a great point. It's a great point. I vehemently opposed the whole bed making concept. The other ones had no kids. For, for, for I think decades. Is, uh, yeah. Bob still makes his bed, so that's fine. I, I do make my bed. I, I, I sometimes pull the covers back out after I get out. I have, I have pillows on my bed. I got multiple large pillows. And a lot of stuffed animals. I have one on the floor that never comes <laughs> off the floor. Except when people come over and make the bed. I have two large pillows in my bed, but that's why I'm all right. Is there? Here's one. Three. So no, no, there's no blood, there's no tracks, nothing like no that. No blood, no tracks, nothing like that. No uh, bullet sure. holes in walls. There's Gun stole, it's gun stole the wall. There's no well, lipstick on the glass. Any ammo. There's, no, there's, no, there's no window. I'm just saying. Any ammo or basement? No basement. I'm not going to dig uh, it. There's a, there's a <clears throat> small pile of bullets. What, what caliber? 42. I'll take them. There's 11. Good. Good. Wait, are they uh, cartridges right. or are they Those balls? Those are the mats. What's that? Those not round ball that we oh, need. Oh, yeah. Shot we need those. No, it's not that. It's not that old. Okay. It's a real bullet. Well, I think we just come up bust again, gentlemen. You know, I don't like it when I draw twice and come up with a couple of twos. Well, a pair of deuces is in the office. I do a search for learn, yeah, two and religion, a politics, and ghost rock. You got nothing. Okay. You know, we got three card draw right now. We got a two and you a find, seven. You find, you find stashed under his bed a mangy picture of a half-naked woman. Ooh, wee, what you got there, Trey? No. I got something for uh, Fly Too Low. We Too Low? We Too Low, my brother. Hanging <laughs> <laughs> Ow. That's my uncle. This is kind of offensive, <laughs> I just want to say. Oh, on, you didn't see the link? I saw the link. Yeah. I have watched it three times. It makes it worse. Yeah. Okay, yeah. the, the yeah. Korean flight. No, yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it. Whoa. I haven't watched it. I don't need to know. I haven't watched it. No, you do it's, it's it's I do a notice exactly check horrible. outside. I don't know why I'm doing that outside. I, I do a notice <laughs> check outside. Give it to me. <laughs> Shit, can't stop talking like this. <laughs> Must go to work tomorrow. Oh, Hello, gee. me, Dev, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> I only got a three. Me, Dev, baby, for skin you. I got a three. Uh, so you find some dirt? Give me a four skin. Like, I guess we could all take a look outside. Uh, yeah, you should right? say four skin. Like, it see, it no. seems... I'll see if I notice any shell cap casings anywhere. Holy shit, I hate stuff over. I am untrained. I got a three. I got a minus two. I can't remember how to do it. This is, this is disappointing. Did you? Gonna, I, I uh, twice are you trained? Okay. I'm not trained, but I rolled six. Oh, so you yeah, always explode okay. anyway. Yeah. yeah, you get to explode always on a. On I a think I already, I already so roll again. So I, Nineteen. So then I rolled a three. It's it, Perfect. Yeah. So your total I, is a nine, but. Nine, two. He can have minus two, because you're untrained. So seven. Seven, nineteen. Oh. All right, so um, there really isn't much to see outside still. You had a nineteen, too? No. no you didn't. Sure. Oh, sorry. There's yeah, no. It's disappointing to get such a good roll to yeah. find nothing. I'm sorry. I understand. I really have nothing to give you. I know. <laughs> well, I day's burning. Number three. On to the third draw of the cards. Yeah, it's late morning. It's late morning. By the time you get to the, the, the third place, it'll be about noontime. Uh, cricket's back yet? Or no? Dead silent. Were they there? At no the birds. Mm -hmm. Uh, not really. Okay. Blue, you you didn't notice, but I'll tell you before you go back. Nothing. Field no blue jay on my shoulder. 
Now that was racist. That's the truth. Yeah. It's practical. It's All right, so you go to the uh, yes, the last place. That would be the uh, oops. Robert. I um, guess you were right. We should have done it in reverse order. Oh, got Trey, we go see number three house. That's funny joke. Maybe not. That's Luther to Castro's house. Arizona. I did number three. Arizona. Yeah. Find nothing. Illinois. It is finding something. Think yeah. about it. Well, you're smart. Have you been hanging out with the Chinaman? Oh. <laughs> Fist <So>. bump. <laughs> <laughs> so you make it to a Luther to Castro's house. Luther De Castro. Any survivors Castro. there? He was on Days of Our Lives. Italian? De Castro. He was on Days of Our Lives. Spanish. Spaniard. Yes, he was no. looking for the six fingered man. <laughs> I did not much like Spaniards, but. So. A dead soul is a dead soul. And, and now this boy. one was from three days ago, the attack was. Yeah. Alright. Weather, there were, has not been significant weather. Mm -hmm. I mean, certainly windy and stuff, but there's been no rain or anything. Guys, let's go search around the outside before we make it to the house. Yeah, let's go check. Notice check. And maybe we can watch our step and let the trackers do their thing before we mess up. Alright, I'm going to do a notice check around the outside. I will too do a notice check around the outside. I also will do a notice check. Four, nine, nine on the outside. I'm waiting for a refinish, right? I failed. Six, sir. <coughs> uh, no, that one stays. It's got to be the green die. Oh, I rolled an 11. Niner. Nice okay. job there, Dawson. Okay, so everybody who, who uh, scored a raise, so it would be 8 or higher. Um, now I get the good rolls. I couldn't get a real good... I, I couldn't get a good roll to save my life earlier tonight. No. <laughs> and literally, it did not save your life. <laughs> literally, it did not save your life. Uh, so you do find some footprints. They're pretty faint. Uh, they disappear in the, in the grass later on, so you really can't see. What kind of footprints? Boots. What size? Were well, they made for walking? No, they are made for working. Oh, that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to work all over you. Mm. Um, it does yeah. look like there's some some sort of struggle and, and some dry marks. Once again, it disappears in the grass. How many sets? It does. It does look like it's hard to tell. Um, there, I mean, it's, more, small, more than it's one. a small area. Okay. More than one. So they must have been, uh, so he was accosted outside. Or, or dragged out there. No, they dragged him out, yeah. Oh, so it looked The doors kicked in. The doors kicked in. Uh, it looks between three and six boots. It's hard to tell because they're so similar. So he may have been, I'm getting, so he, he got, they got in. Does there appear to be signs of a struggle inside? You haven't gone inside yet? Well, I suppose we should go inside. Are you sure you want to yes. go inside? Well, that was a Bob question, wasn't it? <laughs> but Bob said, so you go inside. You're sure? I, I, <laughs> these are cowboy boots. Uh, can you see a stirrup? Or more like a, a worker on a railroad? Like More like a, just a... I mean, it's a flat boot. It's a flat bottom boot. They don't have tread, tread and shoes back then. All right. So it didn't have a space, a little like, like a space in between? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a small heel, you know, a heel. Okay. Sure it's my or so you're, you're suggesting like a boot that goes up to the knee. Like a cowboy boot. A cowboy boot. Oh, okay. I can't better term. I think a pointed toe or a round toe. More of a pointed toe. Okay. Can we, can we tell how many different sets of boot prints there are? Let's say I use my boot as a size. I said, I said between three and six. It's hard to tell. Could, it could be two of the same or it could be two that are very similar. So it's hard to tell, but it's definitely between three and six. Mm -hmm. if, if we have somebody in the group who's skilled at tracking, would that help us any further? Or is that about all we're going to get? You'd say. Make a check. We got any? I, 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 I have, I have uh, tracking skill. I had tracking before I died. I've got tracking. I'm sorry. I have tracking. I was violently murdered in the street. So I get a plus two. There you go. Oh, and you know you... I have a D6 plus two. Nice. You had the plus two. I, so I, I rolled a seven. Oh, yeah. All right, sense. let's do a dual rolls. Good luck. So this is... Explode. Yeah, keep rolling. rolling. Again, explode again. Oh, double explode on his four. Yeah. And again, three explodes on his four. All right, well, he, he made it with a race. 13, 15, 18. 18 on his tracking. All right, so uh, having made it with the raise, yes. you're able to determine that there were, you you believe there are three, at most four sets of boots. Down, down from between three and six to three or four. Can you tell which way they came from? No, it's kind, of, it's kind of grassy, and it's, it's been, that's, that's been... Can you tell which way they went? 
Oh, toward the tree. The, the, the struggle looks like it went toward the, where the tree is. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping you were going to say that. Well, I say we go inside, but uh, I think we might want to go with weapons drawn just to be safe. The murder happened three days ago. <coughs> they they strung somebody up on a tree and then came back here for a snack. You ain't ever gone three back days. To enjoy your previous successes. You ain't ever gone back and reread one of your articles. It happens. I don't think that that's going to oh. be a problem. Let's just Dawson ready to go on in there first. He's pretty good with a gun. I think Gambit. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no problem following the lawman in. <laughs> <laughs> After all, this is his jurisdiction. I'm well, not, with the money. I'm not an investigator. I don't know. You're there for the money. Oh. Want to put the money on the show? Nothing wrong. Should we get ready now? Go, cat. Go. Let's oh, go inside. Good grief! I'll go in. He was he was asked by the marshal to investigate this, not me. He was just asked to kind of <laughs> tag along. Arizona goes to the broken door. Pushes it open inside and then walks in. All right. Once again, it's a single guy. It's a, it's a small room. There's not much to it. Uh, you know, it, it. The first house, if you remember the little house in the prairie, there's a little living room, a, a little dining area, a little kitchen, and a loft, and a, a loft and a bedroom. So, um, Arizona shouts. This, this, this would be a single, single room, smaller than the room we're in right now. Once Arizona again, like, grins. And shouts, ah, they got me. They got tentacles. It's horrible. There's blood everywhere. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Tentacles? And he comes out and says, I'm just screwing with you. Come on in. <laughs> Hang on. Let me roll gullibility there. Oh, never mind. That's smart. Hold on. I, I, I just exploded nine times on my bullshit roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of bullshit, Mike. Uh, Jeff failed his that roll. Before they, <laughs> before they get in, is there anything valuable? That seems like it might be worth grabbing. La 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 la. Roll, roll, roll. Why did I not train? Jeff, you just died. I got a one. Who are you? Oh. Uh, you see the pot belly still open. They, it might be warm when they light it. <laughs> 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 There's a tea kettle on top. Fair enough. There's water in it. <laughs> Thanks maybe, for Is there really? Maybe you can find water in the lake. Interesting. There's a little stream outside. Hmm. So there's water in the tea kettle. So we all go in? Y'all might want to take a look around. I didn't find anything, right. but that don't mean Jack. Who's Jack? Oh, you're a bright one, aren't you there, Robert? Oh, boy. I'm going to love playing poker with you. <laughs> I feel that I shouldn't play for you for, with you for anything more than a nickel. <laughs> so are you guys going to do you notice Jack's in the room now? Oh, I thought... Uh, yeah. Yeah. My dear Dawson. Completely nonplussed by your... Uh, 15... I'll do one with Dawson's rolling. Do it anyway, thanks. You don't know what to do. You might explode 47 times. Jeff, you making a motor check? Arthur Jeff, you making a motor check? You know what's in the house? Yeah. 16. No, 16. We have a 17. You guys are rolling hot. I know. Four. Okay, so uh, Mikey and Adam. Mikey, you find a small piece of fabric that you guess is probably from a woman's dress. Adam, you find a piece of shirt that you estimate is from a man's shirt. Huh. <clears throat> what you got there, boys? Looks like a piece of a man's shirt. Hmm. This here looks like it came from a woman's dress. Now, I thought this guy was by himself here. He was the only one that... Uh, Bartender said it was hung on the tree, right? And you didn't say nothing about no woman. Is that right? It's true. So was a woman part of the awesome. raiding party? Yeah. Or maybe he just had some lady company, uh -huh. and now she's part of their company. You think that he could have been sleeping with someone else's wife? And they, uh... They hey, why did it have to be somebody else's wife? It could have been anybody. Well, yeah. But usually it's a husband that gets a bit on the jealous side, in my experience, last three times at least. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, so all three times? Dinner, Mr. Arizona? I don't know. That sounds... That sounds no, I'm a believer. According, according to the Chinaman, this would sound a little fishy. Believe in the, the cleansing fires of hell? Of course I believe in the cleansing fires of hell. When you have square peg and round hole, Terrible. they I don't I'm match. I believe I'm going to have another drink um, sometime, too. The... For those of you who only made a, who were less obvious, who were less keen on the details, less noticing. Um, in this case, the 
the rifle's on the floor. Like he was trying to load it. There's there's actually um, shells. shells on the floor next to it. Like he was loading it and then he dropped it. What kind of any shells? empty shells? Any empty cases? No. I don't know if you got the trigger. Not a chance to get a shot off. So it seems like every one of these has got a little. I want to. I want to walk over. I walk over to the gun. Did he get any shells loaded in it? Yeah, it looks. You know, it could have been he was terrified. You know what I mean? Hand shaky. Yeah, just he, he'll say he, he got one was stuck, kind of ha, stuck in half in half out, Mikey. Okay. Like so his gun Mike. check was a one. He's, he's, I, was, yeah. I was gonna give him a two. One would have been he dropped the gun and shot himself. Oh, yeah, that's good point. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's like a stove pipe, but it's getting the gun cartridge in, not getting the spent cartridge out. Uh, we do collect the uh, the unspent, well, the, the bullets, whatever we can find. Guys are greedy. Yep. How many bullets do we uh, find? Shot, they're shotgun bullets, right? Oh uh, yeah, four. Four? Yeah. Four shotgun shells? Yes. Okay. 12-gauge or 16-gauge? Yes. <laughs> well, we have different oh. types of shotguns. That's why I'm asking. I don't think they made a distinction in the book. There are four 12-gauges, Mike. Yes, they do. Well, they actually do make a distinction in the book. They do. There are two different types of shotguns in the book. That's why I asked the question. What? Is that going here? Does that work for uh, your weapon, Mike? Uh, that, would, that, would, that would work for my shotgun, yes. Dawson, you want to take those things? I'll take four. I'll take four shotgun shells. All right. I think we got to find people who knew this man. I mean, you know, obviously all three houses had some stores. You know, some coffee, some sugar, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Some root vegetables. Collards. He didn't have any of them there, perforaptics or anything like that there, did he? With that woman's dress in there? Yeah. No, it was the other guy that had the dirty picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> So any evidence? I'm just that shit up. It's good. It was nice. Oh. I liked it. So, uh, None of those balloon things, right? No. You, you know what those are made of, don't you, Warren? I mean, uh, what's your name? Dawson. Dawson. Oh, I know what those there things are made of. You want to put a sheep's skin around your pecker? A uh, sheep's intestine around your pecker? Uh, I didn't say I would. I've done crazier things with mine. I'll tell you, you don't know. Uh, I don't try. think I want to hear it. You might like it. It's all things. Sure. We have detoured yeah, very far from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're right, China man. Uh, you've seen the. We shall follow the tracks. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think we've <laughs> we followed a lot of tracks in this game, China man. Oh, you not tonight. Great. I've given you no tracks tonight, Holmes. I know. No, no. I've tried really hard to give you no tracks. <laughs> uh, what time of day is it now? Uh, it's... I think it's time for lunch. Well, time. well, since there are root vegetables that are going to go bad, maybe we can uh, have lunch here and then head back into town and see if we can uh, learn a little more. And we have to check out the tree. The oh, tree. the tree, you're right. All the three of them are hanging on the same tree. Yes. Go we, check out. Right, that, tr that, that tree ain't going anywhere. I think it's a good time for some food. I think we should get some grub. What does Mike the sky... Can I, have, can I have some more beans, Mr. Taggart? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a quick lunch. Yep, Arizona grabs a couple apples from the uh, remainder of whatever they've got. From the tree outside? Yeah. The one with the rope on it? Puts them in the back. back. So. And we head to the tree. All right. And to the hanging tree. This is what it looks like. Oh, we got a picture of the tree. We got a picture of the tree. Ooh, I scoured the internet for you guys. I heard some clicks. Is it an angry orchard tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a freaky tree. It's an angry hanging uh -huh. tree, that's for sure. Scroll slowly to the right, because I don't want you to get all the way to the end. I see tree. That one. I see trees of gold. And you moved their red onto that page, and it did nothing. Because he signed it as me. Yeah, that's it. You're right. I don't understand how it can be signed into roll twenty as you when it didn't Oh yeah, that's a, hang, a roll twenty cookie. Yeah, that is a hanging yeah. tree. You got to clear your cookies out. Okay, I don't see the tree. Bro, Josh, could you change yours anyways? Because I, I did. Didn't I? In. Uh, I, I think you got to move the red thing. I, I oh, I didn't. I'm oh, sorry, I just forgot mine. Oh yeah. That's okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's kind of pretty. That there. It's a Harry Lauder's walking tree. stick, by it's the way. Will. What the hell's a willow tree doing? Way up no, here. Harry Lauder's walking stick. I'm going to leave you guys with a picture of the tree as the end of the night. Mm. All right. If that actually is a walking stick, that has got to be one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in my life. They grow huge, by the way. They do. But you know how old it has to be to get that big? Mm. It's got to be older than you, Chinaman. Oh, so. me. Only 31, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
<laughs> All right. So, you guys good for the night? Let me teach you how to count in English. Sure. Is that a good result? Is that a good end? Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Good we got us yeah. very interesting. I get home business. early? Shut up. I got to drive four hours on Friday morning. Friday. Oh, shut the front door. I got to drive 13 hours on Saturday. Yeah. Josh, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun, man. You want us to keep the uh, token chips? No, I got to uh, go back. I can go back. Simply hand those back. back. I want to use them. I